What up, gang? What up, squad? What up, goons and motherfucking goonets? Ooh, and we back. Got a banger for y'all today. Rub hands like bird, man. <laughs> My man Quilly, the top carrier. The real Mr. Philadelphia, you heard me. Uptown's finest, you heard me. No Diddy, no Diddy. You feel me? Mr. Penn Griffey. <laughs> yeah, let's ball. Come on. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? My man got m millions of slogans. You know what I'm saying? Vicious with the wordplay. You heard me. Need his own dictionary in his. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the other side, we got my man Sean Cotton. Huh? Huh? Ninety nine overall. Huh? Huh? Mister Say Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> no veneers. All natural. <laughs> I already know they're going to put on a crazy interview, man. It's going to be, yeah. I like Sean Cotton interviews. He don't, he troll, but he don't troll too much. He really lets you get to know the individual that's sitting in front of you. He want to know the individuals that's sitting in front of him. Even though these two already got history. You feel me? But I ain't going to talk y'all heads off or none of that. We're going to get into the interview. Let's ball. Come on. See y'all on the other side. Oh, man. Let's ball. Y'all asked for it. Y'all been seeing them all over the internet. Y'all been seeing them on every platform but Say Cheese. Um, I reached out to him before the viralness a, a month ago. And, uh, you saw me on this before. Don't do that. Huh? They saw me on Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just gotta let them know that, you know, you back though. You saying recently. Quilly. You saying recently. Yeah, yeah, right recently. Now. Yeah, recently. But I hit shit. you up a month ago before the viralness. Yes, you Remember did. Remember that? Yes, you did. Yeah. Actually, two two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. Two months ago, man. Well, Quilly yeah. Mills is in the building. Don't put the Mills. I was about to say, don't put the, don't do don't, the old no more school Mills on the <laughs> phone, man. You man, how you old been, school man? Drain on me. Here, I'm, I'm good, man. It went good, man. On, on, a tour, on a world tour, just talking my shit, man. Every region. East Coast, Coming, West yeah, Coast, yeah, now yeah. you're down south. I just left the West Coast. Now I'm down Texas, man. Dallas, Texas. Like, yeah. it, it, it feel like the night. What you say? It feel like the 90s in Philly right now. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just walking around, yeah. feeling like everything. You know what I mean? It feel good down there, man. Yeah. I was with you earlier, too. Multiple people walked up to you. Quilly! Like, how that feel? Like... In a whole different it's region. Hum it's, hum it's humbling. It's humbling. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't want to sound cocky like I'm supposed to, you know. But it's like everybody see me everywhere, so it's like it's like they knew me mm -hmm. before. But it's like now it's like yeah, that keep everywhere. that going while you hot, like, bro. Mm -hmm. Like naturally, like you right. know what I mean? That shit feel good, bro. Right now, now Diddy, you just started to know Diddy. Yes. I just uh, uploaded the website too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It all over the place online. We, we got some sauce on there too, like high sauce in here. Like we got sauce on the website, bro. Like it's wavy shit. It ain't just mm -hmm. like saying it no video on the door. It's some shit you would want to wear. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was and smart. You just put in the trademark. Uh, yes, yes. Back then, like, yeah, they get, it's when they did that. Like, we doing but like, now, the way the, the world is, is, you know, doing yeah, he going smart. Like, no, right way. He's going about shit the right way this time, man. Yeah. So you just came up with the shit, just no diddy. No diddy. Because it's like niggas are saying pause and Jack and Cam and May Facts. doing. That's now I got Cam and May saying no diddy. Mm. Well, I so instead of saying no no or yeah. pause, it's just. Yeah, that's just like, it's just outdated. Yeah. You know, I'm an innovator. I make up a lot of, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's just, it was time for something new. And I want to put this out there too. The, the wave, is that Max B or is that Quilly? Mm. Okay, so Max B made up, I'm not going to lie. Max B made up 
you know, the wave and all that. But it went to jail for so long, right? Strawberry that when I started cake saying it, it just, mm. people were attached to me with the wave and the Delicacy. wave lord and being you, know and, you know what I mean? Saying, just saying that, that phrase, they attached it to me. Right. Rather than attaching it to, you know, Max B type mm -hmm. shit. You feel me? Right. But we all know who started the wave and all that. Yeah. I just, you know, made it more relevant and just was rocking with it. They were jacking me for the wave. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man, you look real healthy. Shout out to Mac B too. No the fact no that it's no so diddy. sensitive, no bro, that you see, can't niggas don't understand, bro, the compliment of, you your know, the black and brothers and homies compliments on what I saw you saying. No diddy or balls or some type of weird, you know what I mean? Weird, you know what I'm saying? Because you said it's crazy. Clean. That's the generation we get down. It's like, you don't even know what to say no more. Like, yo, bro, let me get a pop of that water. Because it was a period of time where, you know, it was documentaries about you losing weight. Yeah, I, I mean, was, it was it was videos. My bro you definitely looking, looking slim, healthy. Man. Like people were really concerned you, about you, but then it was a lot of jokes too. Yeah, you know, it was a lot yeah. of jokes, and um, it was a time where you didn't own up to your drug usage too. Mm -hmm. You used to always say it was for certain reasons, or you never addressed it. It was right. like something you would just ignore. Right, but it was clearly something Getting wrong. Shot. And hey, you want to know what else I blamed it on? Mm -hmm. Right after I got mm -hmm. shot, I leaned on that. That was my excuse. perks, perks. Oh, you know the pain and all. I just got shot, and so right after that time, it's like you know I was just like you say using it as an excuse, not owning up, not being a man of you know mm -hmm. I need help and you know just shit like that, bro. So when you that got shit crazy though, bro. Like that, like mm -hmm. that's a, that's a fight, bro. And little shit, people know years. the world is on perks yeah, back now, then. Philly been on perks for back then years, decades. We back then, pancakes shit, and like, syrup. We, you know what I'm saying like what? Purple rain and they don't all know. That from they don't know. I can follow these and they don't all know. That. Let like me get a two on one. I don't want to make it seem like Philly. You know what I mean? Let me get a two on one. J Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know. They don't know. Like, the big ass side. That we'll big ass shot side early in the morning. I just did a two on one. Being clean. You feel me? Like, like no, they don't know. A struggle. Well, you yeah, had to dump this joint. Bro, detox and all that shit and all that keep going up. You had to dump your joint before you left the block. Sad. You feel me? But you know, I'm right here, I'm clean, I'm right. looking good. So you get shot, I don't, you I know, don't know, that's the past. You get yeah, shot, yeah. and then you get, I mean, you get prescription. Right. That's when they, that see, that's, rumble, the, that's the government. That's how they try to get when you. When I finally got off that, you hooked, I was you happy, hooked. bro, but it was like fighting you know? Mike Tyson it's and Muhammad Ali. You can Ali go around and together, trip bro. down the steps and go to the and doctor after and they're going to give you a strip of You know what I'm saying? After this, it's, 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 15, then even after the all these years and not taking them, But the right? government want to get you I on it, you know what I mean? That's just giving a game to the kids. Rumble myself some days when I get too That's stressed out or something. You. you know what I mean? Like, I gotta rumble myself so some days and be like, no. Man, work out, what you if doing? You, got, you know what I mean? Go I run, gotta go whatever do you gotta do, my man. Mind, you know what I mean? Go out for a run, something, something. Don't let them trick y'all in, you know, getting scripts and getting hooked on perks, man. Yeah, so you get shot out. What are you taking at the time? Are you taking 10s, 15, 30s? They started me off with the pinkies. Yeah, I yeah, gotta start off with off bananas. With the the school buses. The okay. yeah. They started me off with the tens, yep. And then from the tens, it's like you keep popping them. Then I went like, to the I'm popping so many of these. Damn, no, well, I'm lying. I'm popping three of these. I started off with the white 325 dash tens. That's how it goes. Then I had to circle RPs. And then I went from them to the school buses. This is embarrassing, bro. I don't even Right? We keeping it real, though, but. You know yeah, I mean? and we just, you know, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, want to yeah, tell yeah, your story. Yeah, I'm not trying to, you yeah, know, nigga. embarrass you or anything. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, but I'm saying so this shit so is so embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Just because I don't want to have a young boy think, you know, niggas glorifying and getting right. robbed. 30th Street, That's not you know what I'm saying? Like, hey. But I was up to 6, uh, 7 Jones a day, bro. I think the highest I took was like I'm talking about drinking a Ford with it. Yeah, man, it was a treacherous. A Ford, a Ford, And it's a difference between oxycodone and oxycodone. It's a difference between Percocet and oxycodone. I don't even want to think about that shit. That shit crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's that bad. You know the difference, man. Mm. This, was, this ain't no deal, no none of that. This is just grinding up. You feel what I'm saying? We spending so thousands and we ain't even millionaires. It's to the point to where you how working you, just to get high. How the fuck are you spending thousands and you're not even a millionaire? Thousands of dollars, so bro. you're spending thousands on definitely something daily on and you're not even a millionaire. And lean. Mm. The fuck? Murdering your body. Kidney like. Crazy, uh, now you got a team Liver like. Too. Uh, what are they, I, I know they're trying to slow you down and talk to you and shit like yeah, that. What are you telling them? Like you Superman, gang. Like, I'm don't want shit right words. now. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga funny as shit. Don't talk to me like I want this shit now. Make it. 
tell these motherfuckers, come on, bloody, don't do yeah, it. Yeah, no, I got you. Made I got you. Feel like a super <laughs> he's, look, even when I walk back in off the gas, he's like, you cool. You <laughs> like, nigga, I ain't doing <laughs> dog. He <laughs> made it seem like I just hit my arm with some dog. Oh, same symptoms, like, though, well. Fucking Ray Charles or something, bloody, we ain't doing it. Oh. No, nah, I feel you. Right but guess what? That that's what you need to. Taking them 30s. After you, don't, yeah, you want that dog. Don't get yeah, 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 yeah. You want dope. You want to yeah. start hitting them things, bro. Like a regular nigga, a regular motherfucker, be on mm, dope. Mm, like dang. how he is down Louisiana, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Real shit. You know, Kenzie. You not yeah. Kenzie in it. Yeah. They more so fiends, but I'm talking about regular motherfuckers like us. It almost got to that point. Yeah, we ain't doing no, ain't hitting no, no dog, bro. No, I ain't never that's, hit that's, no dog. That's, that's scary. You trying to pay me. That's no, scary. No, no. <laughs> he hates me to get the dog. How, I just want to see how bad it really is. Don't hate me that on camera. <laughs> 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 This nigga ain't asked me if it ever got the dog. Like, I was up to six or seven drinks, but I ain't never think about hitting the drain or none of that or going up top with so, the dog. So what, what, what was the last straw? The last straw was just like, damn, when is it going to stop? You know, to me, not to nobody else, to me. If you're 21 years old and use nicotine or tobacco, I'm here to tell you about Black Buffalo. Now, I've... Like, yo... My last yeah. straw was one I passed yeah, out at yeah. work, and then two one time yeah. when I was in a relationship, I was He's trying wrong. to buy my shorty and my joint. Like with kids, what the fuck? Man? Wake up for me. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, it's oh. maturity, bro. No, and that's what I just. No, said, you know what I mean? that was it. This one just you almost died. You hear me? New page. You feel me? Like a new chapter. Now look at this shit. Cold look turkey. Shit. Uh, for the for the. First half, I ain't gonna lie. For the first half, what they got in Philly is some boxing, and everybody, everybody know about yeah, boxing. Yeah, we ain't all so them, you right. take a little bit of those, right, you right, ain't right. off of those, cause you don't. That's another government joint that you can get addicted to yeah, as well. And then they got yeah, methadone, for dog, right? But that's when you want dog. <clears throat> you take the methadone. You feel me? Patches, shots, and all that. So you take the, uh, I was doing the subs for a little bit and then I just went cold turkey and then, you know, it's done. Right. That lean shit crazy though, cause the lean, you would be like, remember how Ray Charles was in a movie? Yeah. Like the lean would really had you throwing yeah. the fuck up. Because you're drinking, you, you're, lean you're, you you're mangled, constantly bro. drinking lean. It's not nothing that you're popping or chewing, you're drinking it. So back That's to back, crazy you're throwing emotions. up. You feel me uh, trying to uh, wean uh, yourself off. I'm times. sorry, bro. Like, right. You know what I mean? So the lean is worse than the pills. Mm. Yeah. It seems like Future got the the whole world on perks now. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's why I keep looking at this camera telling the kids not to do drugs and, you know, fuck the right. fuck perks, fuck lean, and fuck all that shit. Get some good gas. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to That's, stop I'm smoking I'm telling these. you, get some good gas. And I ain't saying that. I don't want the youngest to just be blowing all in middle school and all that. <laughs> but I'd rather, you understand? I'd rather gas than, you feel me? Yeah. Real shit. That's how, that shit get dark, bro. Like real yeah. shit, no, but it ain't never come to me being down K and A, Kensington, and all yeah. that, and you know, ready to hit a needle, put a needle in my. It ain't come to that, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. My shawl off through the grace of God. You right. feel me? I'm, I'm glad you here, man. You know, people don't yeah. know if you go on Twitter and search my name and with Quilly, I used to like before say cheese. I used to tweet you damn near every day because mm -hmm. you used to bull. You you were so inconsistent, like. Mm -hmm. You would drop, you would do the vlog shit, announce mm -hmm. uh, that a tape will come out, and it wouldn't come dry out. Dry drop. Yeah. Dry drop. So you would do that on no, purpose? No diddy, no diddy. No but diddy. dry dropping. Uh, that that builds the, sh I don't want to give my sauce away, but that builds the shock value of something, you know? So if you give yourself away too much, <laughs> no diddy, then you're oversaturating yourself. If you, now I'm trying to be serious and you laugh. <laughs> If you if you giving yourself away too much, you're oversaturating yourself. Right. You know. So I know the time to strike, and I know the time to my wife and kids. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Put put my feet up, mm. fall back off the ground. No, I ain't, I'm chilling. Mm. And I know the time to <clears throat> I'm on it. You understand what I'm saying? I just know the algorithm. I know how to. I just you know like crack the I crack the code of the internet like mm. in my in my way the my algorithm that got me touring the motherfucking nation. You right. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Type shit. Out of the whole DVD era, you're the only one that's still relevant. 
Facts. Because of the internet. You have to learn the internet. Some people don't know the internet. If you don't know the internet, you won't last. Everything is computers. You know what I mean? Down to the Bitcoin shit, down to me just saying no diddy and that going viral and me trademarking it. And then now I just, say, I just uploaded the merchandise. Just got to stay consistent, my sauce, bro. My drip is around the world. You understand what I'm saying? Like, as we do. <clears throat> the same way I, I said, damn, you got the post up on the Stevie J shit. You ain't even got your phone in your hand. Stevie J just went at, uh, 50 and all mm-hmm. that. You ain't even get your, your team working. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So it ain't just me, bro. It's my team, bro. You yeah, know what I'm mean? just, I'm you just. You gotta know that algorithm. Right. You gotta know that internet, bro. You gotta know when it, you know what I mean? Just like I said with that joint, you like, oh, we do next week. No, fuck next week and all that. You doing that shit right now, bro. Right. I'm hot right, right now. Right. Let's do this shit right, right. now, bro. Right. We ain't got Tomorrow, next week, right. bro. Right, right, right. right. Next week ain't promised. Let's, let's knock this shit out now. Yeah. Not to right. rush the Facts. drone like I'm rushing and yeah, all that, gotta, but bro, gotta, we gonna fire that moment. Mm-hmm. Let's get this shit out the way. Let's ball. Yeah, viral. It, it, it's good to see you get your flowers, man, because you've been hot in Philly for Seize over, the moment, over bro. 15, 20 years. We need niggas all teeth and palms right now. And a lot this of people, because I was watching the the academics interview, and a lot of people are commenting shit. Like I feel like that interview was like a meat, troll. But it's real. <laughs> Dude, even you know, like, even the Adam you know and Wet uh, like, interview that was yeah. like bro, a troll. Like I've partnered with Thera Cosmetics to share my go-to products for radiant looking skin this winter. Starting with the glow bomb, this is going to leave your skin like get into him. And you know, actually, they started the freak meal shit. But little do they know, years and years ago, you had a song called Freak Meals. Thank you, thank you. I see you thorough because a motherfucker would have said that I was jacking that. Mm. No diddy, but you letting them know like he ain't jacking that. He been came out with he been this innovator, one making up all of phrases, catchphrases and words and all this new shit and all that. Like you let them know, bro. Like, mm. and I just made it go viral again. Something that was old as shit, it just came back out. Look mm. at that. It's timeless. It's about the time of the internet, the algorithm, knowing when to strike. You know what I mean? You feel like Meek Mill never wanted to see you eat. <laughs> <laughs> He's a goofy. Yeah, goofy as hell. I'm serious. <laughs> no, it's just like you get you get serious when I'm serious on my shit. <laughs> when I get this serious, I'm just you want to play. I'm just, I'm just riding your wave, man. Nah, right, so no Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> but just, for, sure, <laughs> for sure. Because, you know, is 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 evident. You could easily just, you know, do the oop. And you know what I mean? We ain't gotta go there, but it's evident, bro. For sure. No, you can't. Yeah, well, nobody can't can say that by you. Put you yeah, on, it's up sure, to you to keep sure. it going. And you don't owe anyone anything. You could definitely yeah. light a nigga yeah, candle. Like, you know what I'm saying? If Sean, if I tell you no I'm day. coming down here and nobody not got an interview mm-hmm. and then it don't happen, cause I got cause 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 fucking Joe Rogan just called me, then what am I? Mm. I'm not honorable. I went to Joe Rogan when I already promised you that I was coming down this door. And you calling my phone and all, and I ain't even hitting you back. I ain't returning drinks and none of that. It's dick up. I ain't even, you feel me? No diddy. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just curving the shit out with you. Yeah. I went to Joe Rogan, John. Right? That's corny. Nut shit. I don't do that, bro. It's thorough. Come on, bro. I don't be hitting the lid for nothing. Hmm. You know, I don't, bro. Now, maybe when I was, you know, in my element, shot it. Yeah. When I had six in me and four, really, six and four. And on level 94, you know. But he did sign Louis. Uh, <laughs> what was his name? Uh, you can't even remember. Look, look, look. He signed who? Look, look. It don't even matter because they're not relevant in 2024. But go ahead and talk about it. The Louis dude. You about to make it relevant. Go ahead, huh? The oh, Louis Lee dude. Mason. Who the fuck is the Louis dude? Lee, Ma- what, Lee Mason? Where? It's two thousand. He, he signed some Philly artists too, though. He put some Philly artists. He gave him an ch- opportunity. I'm just playing devil, devil's ab- advocate. Facts. So what would have happened if I would have been in that situation? I feel like that would have turned up. I feel the like they dropped the dream, ball. The dream chasers would have been motherfucking Rockefeller and state but, property in motherfucking 2002. Fuck is you talking about? But I'm that saying. Been there right now. He put people in position and they dropped the ball. No did he. He did put people right. in position. But that they he the right, the, yeah, that he liked, and they weren't the right people. You going outside the box? Rest in peace, Lil Snoop, and all of them. And I, you know what I mean? Lil Snoop was hot. Yeah, but you going to the bottom of Louisiana? 
Cause Why matter like where you from? got it you right in your city, like Louisiana. starting your city you, first. Ain't nothing wrong with going to, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody on the other cities, but like if you got it right we there in your city, city. start and right not there. Just is, is it any artist? It's the hottest. Like most of these other rappers about. did, Memphis and all of them. Like, I'm saying like, what was look, that, bro? What was like they started in their own city. Don't Google it. They got money in their own city first because they're in their own city first, and then they branched out. It ain't relevant in 2022. 2024, yeah. you got to do all that. Googling and all that. You don't know them niggas' names? Mm. I'm Talk in front of your face Quill. right now. That's the Talk only shit that matters right now. Quilly and Sean Cotton. Say Talk Quill. Mm. You about to go Google something, bro. Mm. The Louis dude and this dude and Gucci man and all this man and brother <laughs> for lamb for lamb. We don't know none of them niggas, bro. Facts. It's 2024, that, bro. bro. I'm on fire right now, bro. You really was trying to Google niggas that he signed and all that shit don't matter. And like I said, it's no disrespect. Rest in peace. Shoot. Yeah. And it, like you say, it don't matter. They went to Louisiana. But I'm hot as shit in Philadelphia back then and right now. Mm. Bro, I fuck around and might sell more fucking mm. albums than him on a 4800 mm. joint. Mm. With the whole, you know what I mean, Jane? Mm. Come on, bro. It's independent shit. Really independent. From the, from the mud. It's hard to say what when you're the hottest in the city and everybody's in your ear. You got friends wanting money, you got family wanting money, you got niggas that want to be put on. Everybody reaching to you, everybody wanting something from you. It's hard to say what you would do. <clears throat> it's hard, and I'm not pro Meek Mill, but it's just like being at the top is hard being at the top and everybody wanting something. For sure. I everybody, know. you can't make everybody happy. For sure. I just know For it sure. would be an easy decision to sign a hot motherfucker from my city. <laughs> just like this motherfucker right here that I'm about to call right here. Throw shit like this. Look, look how easy this is. Huh? This, I'm on fire, right? This is an up and coming rapper in Philadelphia. But you understand what I'm saying? Look how hungry. Look how. Look at the pain. Look at the passion. He saw Sean, and that shit turned in. Ah, oh, oh, oh. you can stand over the hell, motherfucker. But when you see Sean Cotton on Say Cheese TV, that shit is. What you respect? Don't get none of that. Don't get none of this on camera. This the real. This, this real but, shit but, though. But I don't want him to go federal. He on house arrest. That's I just don't. You feel yeah. me? We can just take that little part out. Yeah, get to it. You know what I mean? It's the passion. It's, it's the passion. It's the pain. That's real. That's organic. You can't pay for that moment. Mm. Philadelphia, bro, that shit a jungle, bro. My feet on the land, bro. That's the mud right there. Yeah. Oh, man. Don't take much to do that, bro. It ain't take mm -hmm. nothing away from my candle to get his joint lit, bro. No biggie. That shit ain't even funny, bro. This shit corny, bro. Niggas making excuses for cuz and all that. Don't do that, bro. You said I'm making excuses for me? You making excuses, bro. Making it seem like I'm one of them mad rappers or wearing this shit. Like, niggas don't know. No, I don't think you're a mad rapper. I like, mm -hmm. like, no, 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 no. Like I said, I, I know shit from... I watched this shit from day one, but what I'm saying is people saw the academics interview mm -hmm. and thought you were just some new mad rapper. Right, it's okay, like the people that don't know, okay, right. you know what I'm saying, okay, is looking right. like you okay, crazy, right. but so that know, yeah. yeah. they like, know, like, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, right. they know. Right. You reached out to me for a feature and he charged you 70,000? 75. 75. No video. And that was a meek no promise. Video. Meek mm -hmm. promised mm -hmm. him that he, he told you that man when he got out and then got out and you know what I'm saying? Hitting with a flip flop, up, like you know. what? How'd that make yeah. you feel? Like doing what I'm doing right now, dunking him, bullying him, picking on him. <laughs> Same thing everybody else in the whole world doing. I just was doing it 15 years ago, and I'm doing it right now, and the whole world doing it right now. Yeah, yeah. I always, I always felt like you were yeah, better. Bully right always than me. been better than me. I, than me. I really feel like me. that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I so, feel like. Um, I mean, what y'all think? The whole Hanks and Hustle series, y'all think Quilly and the new wave series, better rapping than me, wrapped out. Or me, better like rapping than Quilly. Like, me, I think Quilly was better always. <laughs> that body of work right there. I appreciate it. And that, I fuck man. with Meek, Meek though. Meek had moments that was better than Quilly, but overall, I'm never getting a Meek interview anymore. So, 
I want to put once he sees this, I'm never getting a Mickey. Man, Coolie got it. Yeah. If Coolie had to shine that Mickey, I, I revamp all that music that you're saying. What? Because the kids didn't hear none of that. Oh, I revamp all that and put all that shit out right now, bro. You just, you just like gave me an idea, bro. Just because they didn't like, hear where's, it, bro. Like, there's that shit. None of the Hang Streets. I mean, well, Hang Street Hustle one through four is not on streaming. Mm -hmm. And rapped out. I mean, because you used to always rap over people's beats, but you never tried to get them cleared. What happened? Did they strip them, or they are they are they on? Because mm, like, days. it's no more Dat Piff. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah, more live like, mixtapes. Like, it's like, like when I want to go listen to Hey Street Hustler Three, it's like I can't. I gotta go to YouTube, and it ain't it ain't even all the nigga, records. This is the best of Quilly. And see if a nigga put it up on his channel mm -hmm. type shit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, all that. Like, why don't y'all just put all that old shit on YouTube and just let it do what it do? Yeah. That's what I was saying. That's yeah. what I was just saying, type shit. Like, yeah. And then what's That'd up? What's up with him on this shit, too, Sean? You've been capping about that. That's why I mess too. with Sean, bro. Call him on this oh, shit, Sean. It's Call him on his bullshit. Shit like that is like yeah. dropping the ball. No, but like, that was, you right. That's 20. Listen, that's 29. I did 29 songs, right? With no features. That that was back then. Motherfuckers' attention spans right now. Probably like 11, 29 songs, bro. Nine. Ain't nobody. 10, you can't do that right 12. now. 12. You got anything carry, past them you, numbers, you, gotta you lost singles, people. You got to drop shit with, you know, nine tracks on there, maybe 11 at the most. Ain't nobody listening to no, you know, 29 People are barely watching an hour long you, interview, yo. With, like, with all the eyes you got to be right really now. bored. If you were to drop something and watch too. it for an hour, two hours, three, four right hours. Now, you know what I'm saying? got to be, yeah. 12. That's what I'm saying. Now, 12 now, hard now, tracks. Yeah. That's what that's what makes sense. Some uh, shit like uh, that. Uh, I thought you were saying back in the day, like no, no, no. I'm talking about right now. now. I'm just yeah. saying that you can't let this moment go. You can't because you know Fuck you know no. how social media is. Every day is something new. Facts. Mm -hmm. Talk mm -hmm. to him, Sean. I, don't drop the ball, bro. Yeah. What what I tell you? I know. Catch that. You feel me? Yeah. Crack the Vinci code. Mm. No bullshit, bro. So are we ever getting the wrapped out too? You just gave me an idea for it. Hey, I did. You know what is you, 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 Yeah, I give you an idea. You don't call do him out. Put this in the books. I'm wrapped out too. Sean Cotton won it, and we are gonna put it. The on. streets won it and, though. And I give it to you. you. I kick in the game. I put it on your platform. Bitty, since you, you know what I mean. I'll let say cheese back. You got light that fire up under him. And we do it. And we do it. Don't say that on camera if we ain't. I'll let say cheese back. I'm wrapped out too, bro. Twelve tracks. Twelve original tracks. We go ahead and talk the business in the yeah. split. I'm just saying on Apple Music, that shit yeah, would go Sean top 10 on the charts um, easy. It would. That's right. It Sean would. was spot on the manager. Shoot. I don't know why I'm getting on you like that, man. I no, just a lot of shit. No, I wanted you to it's do that. It's a lot of shit you I do that make me mad. Too. I like, wanted you to do that. You don't shoot music videos. You don't shoot vlogs no more. Like, well, you they need that, bro. You just, you need you just that, like, bro. it seems so like you got comfortable. Bro, sometimes we'll we need that little, that push. No, 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 no. I'm getting on you. It's real. It's real. You got to give me that so I could grow. I just feel like you, you understand got what I'm saying. You know I'm, you know I'm going to listen to yeah. you, bro. I ain't winning. You just got comfortable Talk like with your hometown Sean. love, and it's bigger than Philly. Right. It's bigger than the tri-state. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. And and I and I guess we needed this to break us out. You understand? Mm -hmm. For us to get to California, for us to get to uh, Vlad TV, and you know I ain't even mean to. Get that out there and all that. Shout yeah. out to Tony Ayo, shout out to Fifty Cent and all that. But right. I don't want to do that on this platform. But for me to get to all these different platforms, you know, shout out to Act. But for me to be down in Texas and sit on C Cheese, like it's like, bro, I'm the wave right now. I know how to strike this shit. You know, you don't get the ball too many times. I guess I'm just a cat with nine lives. You understand what I'm mm. saying? I guess that's what it is. I guess I'm just blessed and highly favored, bro. Mm. Do I have to drop more videos and do exactly what you're saying? Hell yeah. So what, we got videos in the cut. It's, it it just know? seem like you get distracted. Like, what do you... It's like one month you in your rap shit, and then we don't hear from you for three months. Then you back on your rap you shit. You want to know man. what it is, bro, to keep you... The, 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 the really keep it a bean with you, bro? Mm. Sometimes I get uninspired. And right now, I, mean, mm, I guess hip hop is just at an mm, all time that high. Hip hop sense. is at its Keep best it real, moment bro. right now. You feel me? Yeah. It's competition. When there's no competition and everything on some like we are the world, kumbaya type shit, I don't be inspired. When everybody on that DJ College, seven rappers on the track type shit, I'm not inspired by that. I'm inspired by this shit right here the competition, the controversy. This is what makes me, this is what put the fire under my ass. 
No Diddy. No Diddy. Like, yeah, I can't say that. Yeah, I got a No Diddy myself. <laughs> but, like, this is what make me go, bro. You understand what I'm saying? It yeah. got to be some type of, yeah. It, the, hip-hop is back. It's, it's like rapping, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, Kendrick just dropped a joint. That's why I just did the same joint. I did the same beat the same night. Send it to you. Mm-hmm. Bomb that joint. Like, controversy, bro, we ain't on old, be all the world shit, bro. Holding hands and all that, but we not on none of that, bro. Mm. It's supposed to be like that. It's hip hop, it's competition. So, this is when it's fun. So, it's time that you might see me. I'm keeping, I'm just keeping it a bean with you. The time that you do see me on some bullshit, not dropping or not doing nothing, I'm uninspired. This shit feel corny. But right now, I'm back in it and this shit fun again. You mm. understand what I'm saying? And that's me keeping it a buck with you. I can't even explain it no other way, bro. Mm-hmm. I really can't. I appreciate you uh, <laughs> dropping uh, my name in your your music video last year. The one that almost got a million views. Which one? You said to say cheese. Uh, yeah. That was that yeah. was high. Yeah, come on, bro. That was high. You know I throw the oop, and when I do the look, the teeth and palms. You know my saying <laughs> teeth and palms. Yeah. I niggas be dicky and teeth and palms, laughing and all that. My, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Look. The say cheese, John. Yeah. Not that I'm gonna take your logo, but it's gonna be a teeth smiling, uh, smiling <laughs> cheese with the palm cheese from like Palm Angels and shit. Not that I'm a Jack Palm Angels, but they're gonna get a palm tree and like a say cheese on the teeth and palm shit. That's for that merch, yeah. and that's gonna be on NoDiddy.net. Okay. You see how I try and incorporate you into all my shit, low key, bro. Yeah. We from the bitty, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. Up. You throw the oop to me, I throw the oop to you, bro. Yeah. One hand wash the other. So, bro. the the Meek Mill allegations with the whole Diddy shit and do you think that's true? Like realistically though. Um, yeah, I ain't got like, me. Do sure. I think they had sex? No. I don't think they was like and and that audio and all that, I know that audio. Yeah, that's, like, yeah. yeah, that's I know that that's AI and all that. I don't think that they like I don't what fucking can I fucking sex? No. <laughs> shit. So, did it? Yeah, no, I don't think they did it. No, I don't think they had relations. You mm-hmm. know. Do I think that he play around and, you know, bunny hop and do different shit, kinky shit for white people and all that? Yes. You know, play the game? Yes, he do. Do I think that? Yes. Did we see that for our all with our own eyes? Yes, we did. So it ain't even no allegations. But to have like, you know, essay paperwork, like for you to have like gay paperwork, you the first rapper with gay paperwork, soldier boy shit. Like, you are the first rapper with gay paperwork. That's some soldier boy shit. I can't say nothing to this guy. They want No, you good. You the first rapper with gay paperwork. But that's some paperwork. That's mm. that's it. You broke a record. Like that's you, that's world Guinness record shit. Soldier boy shit. You the first rapper with gay he the first rapper with SA paperwork. <laughs> they can't they ever say nothing like about that. me. I ain't. You, huh? Fuck you talking about, nigga. I have four kids. Nigga. You believe the parties and all that, though? Like, it'd be real, like parties and shit? Yes. Yes. Even in the pool when he said, yeah, daddy, I like how you carrying it, daddy. Like, you you swinging that, daddy, like, on a drink. And he was looking at him on a drone. That was one of the parties. Uh. They just was in the back. He ain't want him to film. He ain't want him to right, right, right. film. That's how he looked at him. Like, mm. Put your drone up, bro. You let me wear it. You, you, you ain't peeped that. He gave him look like, come on, put your phone up. <laughs> you peeped the drone. That was in the back of. I ain't never seen it. Shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. That nigga be laughing. He said, he, he said, what you doing, Yo. bro? Like, mm. Mm. We all saw the, you know, the money hot shit, so it's like, yeah, man. What about the matching outfits? That's that's a part of one of the. Uh, that's on the site. That's that's one. That's on. I got that pressed up on one of the shirts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a whole box. Give me don't a send whole me that. You gotta throw it on the joint. Or, 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 or if you don't want to do that, because I know you know what I mean. You still got a crazy big big platform. Yeah. You know what I mean so. You know what I mean? You could put on one of the Diddy joints, one of the no mm-hmm. Diddy joints, rather than putting on one of the joints. Oh, I, I got it. I'm talking saying. about yeah. the t-shirts. Yeah, you ain't got to just put on a joint with uh, yeah, yeah, Diddy yeah. with the matching shirt. Yeah. That's on the shirt. So you got a shirt with them matching. Yeah. And it say no Diddy. <laughs> yes. Got you. Yep. I want to show you, bro. This is what it's like, bro. Yeah, I, I really just pulled it up on the joint. I just finished the interview. You know what But mean? Meek never came out and really defended himself, though. Right, he, he did. I love. He right, said, right, 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 right. 
I love pussy so much. I always fuck pussy. I I eat pussy. I I be playing with pussy. I I be I like fucking from the back. I fuck from the side. I, right, that was his response. That right, instead of saying I ain't response. never. Ooh, 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 what's wrong with you? <laughs> Stop playing with my <laughs> name. Oh, okay. He went yeah. another route and said, "Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't know how to yeah, like. That. That's like you don't know how to play with the internet. Like you know, he don't know the. You know that shit is." Uh, Long ass Maya Angelou uh, paragraph, <laughs> crazy ass Milano paragraph. <laughs> yo, he draw, he like, draw cool. in your back, bro. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck hey, he's sure, saying. You done got this dude <laughs> activated again, Nigga, bro. Still reading them, Joe. Like okay. fuck, I got dizzy reading this shit. Fuck, <laughs> yeah. fuck, I was talking about like this shit crazy. Nigga, ticket running. Chill. Yeah. We off that though, man. I don't want to, nah. really, you know what I mean? What do you think about the, so, like, the raid though? No, but to get back on this, right? Because we're going to talk about the Diddy shit too. To get back on this, right? It's funny how the whole world is going at Cuz now, right? Mm. And I've been going at him. And But when, when I was doing it back then, I'm a nut ass mm. nigga. I'm a hater. Yeah. This right. nigga corny. He mad that me right. hated and all this shit. Right. No, now right. everybody going at it. Now what? With the whole world fucking haters? Mm. Right. That's crazy. Everybody in the world hating, huh? <clears throat> shit crazy, bro. Yeah. But do you ever feel like you were blackballed because of that? The blackball off. I've been said that. Nigga, because I just left from the, the West Coast. I, nigga, the blackball off. But, the blackball. But you dropped meals from your name because of me. You never said it, but that's why I think you dropped your name, right? I dropped meals off of my name just because Quilly is just, when you put when you type in Quilly. Mazi at the door of the cameraman. When you type in Quilly, nothing else pops up but Quilly. But when you type in Quilly Mills, other mills pop up rather it be Jay mills. Jay mills i don't i ain't even want to say that name we just you see how you bringing dinosaurs back to life you hmm. can't keep naming old niggas that these young motherfuckers don't know about because then you're gonna have them googling and all that but yeah you're gonna bring up you know shout out to uh you know what stephanie mills she ain't passed away this year yeah general mills hmm. you understand what i'm saying we ain't naming no rappers that ain't relevant. We can't keep, you know, mm. you bringing niggas back. This is a big ass platform, bro. Right. Like, you got why you can't name drop on the joint. You feel me? Like you named mm. dinosaurs, bro. Mm. But yeah, they turned it. They 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 just made it coolly, um, just so nothing else come up in the search engine. So I get everything. That's another thing about you know learning that internet and just studying this shit. Mm. Nothing else pops up when you type up coolly. There's no other rapper in the world named Quilly. My name is Aquil. Mm. You know, the mm. album should be on out. Al- the album I quill my self titled album. It should be on iTunes, uh, like Apple, like right now, like as tonight. When, no, when this interview come out, like gotcha. type shit, like it should it should be out. Right. Shit. Yeah. Four year four years ago, I interviewed Core, and he gave you your flowers. He said he paid you like five hundred or, or, or a he thousand. He capping, yeah. He gave, me a, he gave me a dollar two times. He gave you a thousand twice. Yeah. And he didn't say five hundred dollars. He said he gave me a hundred and fifty dollars. It was a hundred fifty. No, I'm telling you that he gave me a thousand dollars the first time, but then gave me a thousand a thousand dollars the next time. And that's when I was trying to show love to him. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Basically, that's me not taxing him. But he told me he he said in your interview that he paid one hundred and fifty. And that's cap. That's cap. That part right there. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck you don't think it? he probably just got the numbers wrong by accident? How you gonna get the numbers wrong? And he ain't even paid me. His his man Lil paid me. Lil, shout out to Lil. Shout out to Lil. Yeah. Core didn't even pay me. Lil paid me. I mean, but Lil was the guy around that believed in him. That yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we yeah. everybody got people like that in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Who you about to ask me about Core? Um, I want to see what it's going. But he gave you your flowers though. He said that you you really changed his life. That's thorough. That's like people thorough. think Meek put Core on when it was really you. Yeah. Yeah, I, do. He, I was the first that one on that camera. got him up to the radio. Right. I was the first one to do, you know, songs with him and all that, charging him, you know, polo t-shirt money, $2,000, that's nothing, you know what I mean? A pair of socks and shit, yeah, that's nothing, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's basically me looking out for him. That's me charging him, charging him nothing, you know what I mm-hmm. mean? So we did that, I got him up to the radio. What was it, the Splash Life I brought him out, splat, the, uh, the, the record Splash Life and the uh, real niggas up top, man. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come on, man, you know yeah, the history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody lying, bro. And uh, I bought him out at the TLA and all that. When I bought P. That 
was fast. I can't be rock out, man. Nah, nah. Rest his soul, man. Mm -hmm. And y'all only got two records ever. Was it two or three? Mm, Is it zero, zero to one hundred? Zero to one hundred. Can you pass my Vaseline, buddy? <clears throat> it's in the bag. Yep. So what, like two, three records? Uh, we got zero to a hundred. Uh, good looking. Pause this real quick. Two seconds. I'm sorry. I just don't like my shit. I don't want to get my shit the way how but y'all. My man vocabulary is wild, huh? You don't want to do that shit. You feel me? You don't want to have that all on the camera. It's crazy. Appreciate you, bro. Um, so what you say? Um, y'all, y'all only, huh? Mozzie. That's him right there. Yeah. Uh, you were surprised too. We had a dog on us too. Yeah. Wasn't you surprised? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna say Chris nothing crazy, but you mm. was like, yeah, hey, I got you. We got three slammers if yeah. you need them, man. Yeah. I said, no, buddy, we got the dome on the mm -hmm. road. Yeah. I, I ain't expect it. You ain't expect that. <laughs> ain't my expect feet it. on the land, ain't it? <laughs> ain't my feet on the land. I don't be on no nut shit, no Hollywood shit, none of that. Nigga walk past, yo, that's Quilly. Yeah, come on, bro. Let's take pictures. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, what's your Instagram? Well, let me follow you. Well, hun, my name is this. I'm from Houston. I'm from Dallas. I do this. Well, hey, let me follow you. Yeah. Let, let's build networks. Let's. Yeah. That's what you supposed to do, bro. You supposed to come on, reach down and all that, bro. Motherfucker trying to come up. Right. Shorty out there, the beauty salon and all that. Hun, I'm going to follow you. Hun, I'll shout yeah. you out. Not right now, but I'll shout you out. You heard? <laughs> I'm going to show you love. But it's real. I followed her. Shit like that. She owned the beauty salon, and I'm going to show her love. This is out Dallas. Yeah. This we in Texas. This a whole other state. Now, I'm down on. here networking. But, but, I'm, I'm touching the people. Right. No diddy. Like now, 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 now back to what we was talking about. You and Quir only got three records. Yeah. That was like a collab that a lot of people like. People wanted joint projects. People wanted, you know, people wanted more from that from mm -hmm. that situation. And it was like, yeah, y'all both from uptown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what happened? Um, he just. You know, went a different way. And we was never in paperwork. All I was doing was just throwing the oop. I was just throwing him an alley oop, showing love. The same thing I just did with him. FS Bender not in paperwork. He might get a million dollar deal after this fucking interview come out. Mm -hmm. Just because a, a fucking million dollar investor or record label might see this and sign FS Bender. Say, hey, who's this guy that he's talking about? Anybody. Mm -hmm. Put a bag behind him. I have nothing to do with it. He's not in contract with me. I'm just showing love. Me lighting his candle won't take away from my candle being lit. Mm. Facts. That shit ain't taking nothing away from me, bro. I'm showing love. I'm gonna get blessed more. Mm. Meat got a lot of flack because Core dropped his album. Yeah, that was crazy. And then a week later, Meat dropped the album. Yeah, give his he chain that no shit chance to hours bubble after like Core dropped his shit. You <laughs> laughing? That shit ain't funny. <laughs> That nigga dropped on Monday, me dropped on Wednesday. Huh? What's that? That's thorough? Nah. Huh? So when, when I'm doinking him and I'm playing and I'm, I'm going at him and all that, I'm a nut ass nigga. I'm a hater. That was, oh, nigga, that was crazy. That's cornball shit, bro. That's my young boy. Corn, my young boy. The mic fell. I like this one. Bro, because you, you, I like you the interview Philly because you saying real shit that other you know what I mean? And they ask you on like, bro, like, huh, give me something, bro. That's like, crazy. Yeah. This shit crazy, bro. This is a different interview, bro. So wait, nah, so it's so a real shit. He dropped it 72 hours afterward. So he dropped it. If, if, Philly if, wasn't if, feeling if, that at if all. Cor, yeah, they was not. If Core so dropped, if Core dropped his album thorough on Monday, Cuz dropped his album on Wednesday. That's crazy. Like, why? He couldn't get a month on the charts. And he only shouted him out on a, on a, on a, and, and, no, he, Meek only shouted him out on a Meek. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Shout on out. A, on a backup, no, <laughs> he ain't shouting nah, him out. Nah, don't the, say that. Yeah, they shouted him don't out on the Chaser Don't page. say that. Nah. They ain't give him I a shout him out. I seen him tweet it, though. He tweeted it, though, from his page. And then he, and then he deleted the tweet. He didn't delete the tweet. He deleted the tweet and started going at me. He don't know the internet. You supposed to let your young boy roll. It's his fucking time. Give him 30 days to let him ball. <laughs> let him shine. <laughs> you was supposed to let him carry that shit, nigga. Come oh, on, man. Core, man. If you see this, bro, come over here, man. 
I mean, me and Sean Cotton. This Sunday popped in my head. I mean, talk music. I mean, come, Gilly come, yeah. Gilly and Wallow. I, I think I ain't, uh, I ain't got. I, I probably ain't got the budget that because you feel me. And I'm pretty sure he ain't give you too much. But I got something. Man. I ain't really worth or, something, man. I fuck with you. I got, they might put them on there again, and try to squash yeah, their old situations what, what to get him and make it. You know what I'm saying? With come it. together type. You, you see how pure like, my heart is? I don't is. know. Something had to happen, though. Ain't nothing had to happen. I just be bullying shit. I go with everybody whenever I feel like it. Why didn't you reach back down to Core, though? Because at, 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 at for like four or five years, he was top three in Philly for a long time. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you reach back down? Was it because your life was because yeah, I went to jail and I had to come back and get back on fire? First, because I was in fucking jail so long that people forgot then, about me, and I had to get back on that internet. Because if you're in computer. a position, how you gonna put other people? In, to, I wasn't really worrying about in, no one in, else. In, I had to get quickly like, back on it's fire. Impossible. It's so impossible. we could be here today, you know, type shit. Yeah. Damn. But I don't got a problem with working with court. Bro, ain't no malice or hate in my heart or none of that. I ain't one of them bulls or none of that, none of that, bro. We could really work. And I'm not bidding or none of that, bro. You know, he out to deal with him. Can, can I say that? Uh, yeah, he out to deal with... Uh, yeah, he not with Dream Chasers. Yeah, he out to deal, so he's a free agent right now. Yeah. We could work, bro. I ain't trying to play him with nothing. Super hot, though. Every time he drop, he go top yeah. 10. And you know the conversation we had. I ain't we ain't gotta bring that up on camera. Mm-hmm. But that was a thorough joint, you know what I mean? So we can make we can make something happen, man. Yeah. If core if you watching this, bro, you know, I ain't been cause he everybody think I be bidding and joking all the time. Yeah. I'm dead to fuck serious, bro. We can work, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't doing that. It's funny, bro. We both from up top. It's ball, let's carry this shit. Did you know he was special when you did the feature or was it just knocking out another feature? No, I knew it wasn't knocking out another feature. I I knew it was special. And then when he doubled back for the video. And then when I called him out to the show, to the Quillian friends at TLA, when I, I sold it out like three times, when he performed, the crowd went crazy. And that's his solo. And then when we did zero to a hundred, the crowd went even crazier. So I'm like, damn, he got a, he got a wave. Hmm. You know what I mean? He carrying that shit type shit. The number one, the number one question people want to know, well, it ain't the number one question, but a lot of people, they, they wanted me to ask you this. Joey Jahad. Mm-hmm. What happened? I mean, people know what happened. Oh. Like, he doing he doing DoorDash right now. Um, he he he's selling he's selling Yeezy. No, no, real, no, real, no, off real of Stock X. Um, he got yeah. Yeezy. He got he got Jordan for sale on uh go on like he sells sneaks Damn. and um, do DoorDash. Yeah. Bro, what? Joey was hot back then, man. He came up with that snap music, bro. It was a snappy nappy dugout. You know what I mean? Damn. <laughs> you gotta get back cool? For what? <laughs> well, bro said for you what? You said that name. All, <laughs> all the lattes, all the, all the ladies in here, when you said that name, you can hear a fucking pen drop. He had crickets in his motherfucker, man. I thought it was patched up, though. What? Man? I remember all the, 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 how, how, what you are to court, what? Mm-hmm. when you no. say Joey Jihad is to you, or was to you? No, you can't say that, because I was already on fire when I went over there. You don't think he, so he didn't find, he didn't discover you? Like, yo, this, this kid is hot. Yeah. I'm going to take him under my wing. No, did he? He didn't discover me, and he didn't didn't. Explain. I'm not trying to be funny or be no, messy. I'm I'm, I'm really asking that. you. No, I had my own wave. I was already on fire. It was just me uh, standing next to someone that was already, you know, older and had you know radio play and shit like that already. Mm-hmm. I just wasn't on the radio yet, type shit. Yeah. But I had the streets on fire. When he did what he did to you, did that really did that hurt you? Before that, I was already doing my own thing, and we wasn't. We we already went separate ways. Before that, for what? Before the why y'all why y'all go separate ways? I just wanted to do my own shit. Right. I never felt as though like I belonged. Yeah, you got in the group. some rappers that's not mm-hmm. group mm-hmm. rappers. Like they they better off. I'm doing my own time, and like like you just said, I drop when I want. Mm. Whenever I want, I drop. 
Whenever I feel like talking shit, I'm talking shit. Whenever I want to be Farrakhan, I'll be Farrakhan. Whenever I'm Malcolm X, Quilly X, I'm Quilly X. You know? Whenever whenever I turn into fucking uh, J. Cole and I and I just want to post every six Damn. months and it's just... You hand know, motions be some bullshit. Crazy. Like, oh, I go and just post his tour dates every six months or some shit. Yeah, I get in that bag. I get in my fallback shit. Now I'm on my chill shit. Or I'm on my community shit or something. You feel me? Did that situation hurt your family? Like the your, your BM and your mm. it didn't. No. You didn't like y'all didn't split up after that. No, I have a whole number one. Oh, okay. My mm. okay. I'm playing. Okay. And when you say he's doing DoorDash, like and and selling uh, Yeezys and um, <laughs> you see, like he he delivered food to your house or something. No, I, so live, you know, I live in Dawson's Creek. How you know he 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 do DoorDash? <laughs> at least at least that's an honest hustle though. Yeah, yeah, for I can sure. support. I'm not I even playing. You see, I'm not. I wasn't yeah. laughing. I'm not trying to joke around. Yeah, not, yeah. It's nothing to play about. That's a hustle. No, he's just when I I talked to him like maybe two three years ago when he was like on some like pop back out type shit. Did it happen? Mm-mm. All right. <laughs> Yo, Quilly, something else, bro. <laughs> uh, rest in peace to Fat G's. Yes, sir. Rest yeah, in man, peace, Lord, Fat rest G's. Um, young kid, well, he's 28. Mm. Um, in the, the surveillance mm-hmm. leaked online. It, everything it, online now. Everything. Everything, bro. The most sacred things, man, are, are online right now. People felt like that should have been released. So, you know, you know, somebody may could notice the car or like, I think the footage was put out so people could identify who that was. Um, But, you know, People see how Fat G's carry the situation, walking outside to the car. You know, you think that could have been avoided? The whole situation could have been. He could have he could have handled it a little bit smarter than that. It's a very touchy situation right here, bro. So that's what I'm gonna do. And in Philadelphia is a bloodbath right here, right? This is how serious my city is, right? I might have a whole nother conversation with you. Mm-hmm. We're going to do an extended version, right? Mm-hmm. And we blank some of the stuff out. But right now, mm-hmm. I'm going to just leave that alone. Mm-hmm. For my safety, for my team's safety. Right. Mm-hmm. Just... Mind our business, man. Good route. Right. I respect Good route, cool. it. It's Ramadan right now, right? Mm-hmm. Is that do you do you really follow Ramadan? Yes, sir. Yeah. So that's no sex in the daytime. Mm-hmm. No sex during the day, unless you're married and you can have sex with your wife at nighttime. But you can't have sex with her during the daytime. Mm-mm. It's like you're giving yep. up all your all desires. All your desires. Yep. For your God, for law. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. sometimes you mess up. I'm to keep it real, yes, I'm human. Yeah. So Islam is perfect. I'm not perfect. Mm-hmm. And there's no such thing as a perfect Muslim. You know? Mm-hmm. So sometimes I do mess up. But right now, like I said, I'm on I'm on journey. So this is a day that can be expiated and I can make up. Or not to bring up what I none of my good deeds, but you could feed someone homeless, you mm-hmm. know? Rather they be Muslim or to feed a fasting Muslim, you get more blessings. But if I just feed someone homeless, I still you know, get the blessing, get the reward. Right. You know, yeah. that's the mercy of Allah. So kind of what I tell you. And you pray five times a day, every day. At least Not you keep every it day. It, it's like it's. I can't say five times a day every day, but I pray all throughout the day. Like this morning, I made the prayer. Like it, if I don't make all five, I'll probably make three or four. But for me to sit here and tell you every single day of my life, bro, I make all five. That'd be a lie. But you're supposed to make five prayers every day, every day of your life. You're supposed to make all five. Mm-hmm. But for me to look you in your eyes and say every time, one time, I make all five every single day. Never miss. Never make mistakes. Never man. mess up. I'll be lying to you, bro. Mm-hmm. 
and I'm too real. My heart is too pure to look like, you in I your eyes perfect, and do that, bro. bro. Like, and look, to look at these people, bro. Look at these people and say that on camera. Mm-hmm. Not gonna do that, bro. Like Islam is perfect, mm-hmm. you know. I'm not. Mm-hmm. How you feel about all these rappers? It's like the cool thing to do now is to be Muslim. Lord John, a- Lord John just took a shahada. But they say uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, uh, may peace be upon him, said, you know, as people embrace uh, Islam, the more people that sure. embrace Islam, he said, those are the end of times. So that might be, you know, a revelation. Uh, uh, what, what is it? Revelation. Uh, yeah, of of you know the, the the end of times. It might be a sign of yeah. you know the end of times. People embracing Islam. That's what it says in the Hadith books in Sahih Bukhari. Mm. You know, yeah. That the more people that embrace Islam, we, we will see a time that a lot of people mm-hmm. will start to embrace Islam and take their shahada. Mm-hmm. And when that time comes, then, you know, I'm not saying I know exactly what's going on and all that. I'm just saying, you know, saying what's in the text. That's really what's in the book. You right. Know? I was on YouTube one day uh, just browsing and I seen you and, you and OT7 Kwani like having a back and forth. Mm-hmm. He pulled out 150000 and, may, and, and challenged you to do it. And it was like, uh, I don't really, it was it was random. Like, <laughs> Quilly, OT7, Kwani. Like, how do, how do y'all even, like, why? Because niggas just be popping their little shit, and I, you know, you, you, you can't play with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause then yeah, that joke was funny, yo. Oh, he was on his neck. Feel me? So you can't play with me. You know what I mean? And when he pulled that 150 out, like, I, I don't want to even go there. Because I, yeah, I don't want to make that the subject. And I don't really. No, I'm just addressing. To, I, before the interview, yeah, that'd be, everybody witness. I said, I'm addressing everything. Yeah. You don't have to answer everything, but I'm going to answer everything. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and shout out to him, though. Like, um, uh, bro, at that he, time, he, bro. He, at he that doing his thing right bro, now. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But at that time, bro, you. The American people are writing the greatest comeback that story never told. Well, let's tell the story here. Around six, seven different niggas, man. Up in different niggas' money and all that, bro. You know what I mean? Because he buys his yeah. whole name yeah, and everything. Car, bro. It's like you know Tyreek. I mean? You don't even got a car. But it's like, <laughs> that's just like, it just seemed like y'all got two different circles. Like, how did they even yeah, start? Yeah, 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 for sure. That's why, that's why, no, no, no. Look, I'm going to let you know. It's not war or nothing. It's just talking shit. Like, Philly is just like a competitive, you understand what yeah. I'm saying? On that type of time. So it's not war. It's not, you know, when I see him, when he see me, it's not on that type of time. It's, you know, he's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. Mm-hmm. And like you said, it's two different crowds because he don't rap. That's like, you know, <laughs> underwater, like, echo type shit. Like, that shit, like, like he got the joint. Yeah, like, he vicious, pop, bro. Man, had the joint. That shit, like, all, I call that ad lib rap. That nigga be on stage dry and shit. Right? But yeah, he doing his thing. Wait, you said that's underwater music? <laughs> underwater what rap. Underwater, underwater, rap? underwater ad lib rap. You know how they say mumble rap? He's not mumbling. He's actually like <laughs> rap. <laughs> underwater, underwater ad lib rap. <laughs> Motherfucker, whole song, eight bars. Mm. Huh? <laughs> oh, hey. oh yeah. I don't want to go there. <laughs> you, you like when I go there? No, I'm, wanna... I'm just, uh, I'm just addressing everything. <laughs> you said this your favorite interview. Yeah, bro, I love it, bro. Let's yeah. ball. I'm having fun. I don't give a fuck. You know I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And we can go there about anything. I'm just saying I don't want to. I don't be one of. This is a big platform, no diddy. So I don't want to give niggas the light. That's what I don't want to do. Right. I, not on my joint. You feel me? But no, we can carry it. Fuck these niggas. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Let's ball, man. So, we're, I mean, <laughs> okay. Anything, let's ball. Man, oh, like, activated. Like, the quitting shot to chill. Like, you know? Charleston White and Gilly had a back and forth mm. two days ago. Yeah, but I don't um, feel like you talking about some it. Some text man. messages yeah, leaked of, of, of Gilly coming at Charleston. Well, Gilly texting a promoter. Why the fuck did you ask me this, bro? <laughs> Why the fuck you put me in the middle of this? <laughs> Why you do this to me, bro? <laughs> sure, why you doing this shit to me, buddy? Why I gotta listen to this shit, bro? <laughs> bro, you you was you asking some of this. You yo, bro, you got some of the most sensitive topics, bro. These are real sensitive joints. 
This is some real shit, bro. This real, bro. What you think Charleston gonna come come for you? I'm not saying that Charleston gonna come for me. I'm just saying the whole topic in itself is yeah. like that's very touching. Like no diddy. Yeah. You feel me? It's very touching. Is Charleston wrong? All right, we're going we're gonna to leave this alone. Yeah, yeah. About that. Charleston wrong, bro. We're going to leave this alone. You, 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 you respect Charleston, though? Like his message? The, the snitching shit? You know damn well I don't respect snitching. Not bro. respect snitching, but like how he's saying that like rappers are hypocrites. All right, we're going to leave this Charleston shit alone. No, no, no. All right, so look. Look, 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 look. You, are you in a rush? I'm not in a rush I, at all. Look, I'm not in a rush. I'm, I'm not in a rush at all. I, listen, I'm letting everyone know. I'm comfortable and I'm not in a rush. And I'm chilling. These topics are like, I don't want to <laughs> say. You understand what I'm saying? It's like. Really stop, bro. Because right, so you're controversial, bro. You act, you like dick up, bro. Charleston White, right? He, he also cracked the Da Vinci Code of the Internet, right? Mm -hmm. And he also knows the algorithm, right? Mm -hmm. So he know how to pick at people and jab and, you know, boil, boil people blood just like me. Mm -hmm. But it's certain extents that I won't go to. Mm -hmm. You know? Let's just say that. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, it's just I, certain I, I, extents certain I won't. that I won't go to. Mm -hmm. And I'm a disrespectful motherfucker. I don't give a fuck, but it's certain extents that I'm not going to go to, bro. And I'm going to just say that. But Charleston learned how to crack this did. internet code. Like how I said, I, I know the algorithm. And I, I mess with some of Charleston when stuff. Chill. But I, when you I, go I, like, I understand you know what I'm saying? Internet, no, you know? I don't, yeah. And Charleston White is a person that does understand the internet. Mm. Do he go, do he jump out the jet kamikaze humaz style? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But do that bring the bag in? Hell yeah. Yeah, the more controversial you are. Nobody trying to chill on pay the bills, the bro. More money. And all that fall back, cool J. Cole shit. Ain't nobody trying. J. Cole don't even do interviews. They don't. The last interview I saw from J. Cole, like, niggas went to sleep. Like, mm -hmm. niggas don't want to see a J. Cole interview, bro. Do you want to see a J. Cole interview? Nah. I don't want to see a J. Cole interview. Do you listen to J. Cole music? If it come on the radio all my life. But if you talking about number six on this album, am I going to go download the shit? No. Yeah. But when that shit come on, you either. I'm keeping it a bean. This is what the world feel. Mm. What you saying is what the world feel. What, what, feel. what I'm saying is what the world feel, bro. All that chill shit. Don't nobody want to see all that fall back cool shit. Mm. You gotta pop it. No diddy. That's what Charleston told me. He told me that um, no, he if he would have came out positive, not, he would have never blew up. Because niggas want, ain't trying to hear that positive shit. They want shit. angry. They want you to be. I'm Heidi you know Montag, and I lost 22 pounds with hydroxycut. Like, they want, I wanted like, something that's, safe that's and easy want. to fit like, into my want. busy life. I'm so. I mean, Wallow getting away with it and all that, but yeah, you know, very I mean, good get away with it. Positive, yeah, but you because Wallow what I'm saying? already ain't did that controversial. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying that shit, bro. Wallow like name said, you know, came out in a controversial said, way. I kept it positive, it but I put it in from the hood in twenty years. Sweets. That right there, stick up, some kids. stick up. Mm. Good. You see the way and I put it, and I told my story about drugs. twenty years. That shit gonna reach them. It's controversial. All the mother stories and all that shit, that politically correct shit. Them kids, it ain't gonna reach their heart. So it came out in a controversial way. I know how to talk to the people. I'm on the land with the people. You see, motherfuckers walking up in front of your store. Motherfuckers coming from Houston, Dallas, Irving, Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, what? <laughs> Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Yeah. yeah, nigga, I'm from up top. I'm from the Billy. <laughs> I don't really know. They coming up to me, holding me <laughs> to the sky. You feel me? Teeth and palms and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas honoring me. I'm just saying that I'm going to land with the people showing love from Fort Worth, from Dallas, from Houston. People, random people just walking up. We around the corner eating. Motherfucker stopping me in the middle of eating. I got grub in my mouth. No diddy. My whole mouth full. You feel me? No diddy. 
Niggas trying to still take pictures. I'm like, hold cuz, let me get my shit together. He like, no, bro, we got, yo, no kidding. <laughs> I'm like, bro, let me tighten up. I'm trying to get my shit together, bro. Like, you feel me? He still got the camera and the jewel facing me and all. I'm like, come on. But I still took the video. I still took the picture. I still got Instagrams. I still talk to the people. Facts. Who the fuck am I? You can't be bigger than the program. Mm. These niggas think they bigger than the program, bro. You got to come back to the mud, bro. You got to come back to the mud. You got to be on the land, bro. When are, when are you ever going to go on a million dollars worth, million dollars worth of game? Mm. Mm. Is that ever mm. going to happen? Like, mm. people really want to see you on there. It's like, because I watch, I, I fuck with Gilly. I, I watch the shit. Mm. But it's like, you don't really, even like OT7 Kwani. Like, it's niggas core. It's niggas mm-hmm. in Philly that should be on that platform. I think um, mainstream that platform is more uh, like he just had uh, Cardi B on there, like more A-list celebrities and shit like that. Like, but you gotta understand, and like I said, bro, I don't. You know the conversation we had, bro. I don't. We ain't gonna go there. But you know, God willing, I get on there one day. You know, inshallah. Shout out to Gilly, shout out to Wallow. Mm. You feel like you too, it's too many politics? Or you may go in there and say some shit that just may just make everything. Put it like this, bro. I'm gonna say cheese and you own your shit. Mm. Black man. Mm. I'm gonna say cheese and you own your shit. Mm. I just I just left academics. That black man own his shit. Mm. It was nothing but a phone call. The same phone call I just made to that young boy mm-hmm. that's trying to make it out the fucking city. And I know he hot as shit. Mm. That's the million dollar question. Why the fuck I ain't on million dollars worth of game? And that's the number one motherfucking joint from Philly. Across the world. But Meek men on there, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All politics. Man. No. I interviewed this girl named Pilar. And and he wasn't and he oh. wasn't and you and you know when you go on million dollars worth of game you get checked, you know? You get checked? You get checked. Like you get checked for uh they give you game. Oh they yeah. They give you some game. Mm-hmm. Like, well you're doing your thing, Sean, but I really think, you know, coming from million dollars worth of game, I really think you should do this and do that the better you. They give you a million dollars worth of game. When Cuz went up there, they ain't give him a million dollars worth of game. Cuz went up there and told them a million dollars worth of game, and they was just, you know, all ears. That was the... Teeth and Palms? The, yeah, Teeth and Palms. That was the Meek Mill show. Who watched the interview? Damn. Cardi B just left him up there. They just gave her a million dollars worth of game. Mm-hmm. And she got 138 million followers quadrupled the followers of him mm. and they just told her what she could do to better her career well you think you just need to drop and don't worry about it up but cuz come up there with motherfucking what do you got 21 million followers or something nothing 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 in the hundreds and nothing like cardi b right and why well, they ain't give him a million dollars worth of game they ain't had no no breathing claritin clear is like all stuff pretty girls walk like this Is he type of advice for him? Yeah. I'm saying what it is, bro. No, oh, he's just speaking real. Hey. You ever think about relocating? I already live in Dawson's Creek, but uh, I don't want to tell people my spot because you know I, you know how, uh, NBA young boy with the Utah on him. Yeah, Grave Mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but Grave look, 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 look. This my spot right here. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's mm. my spot. If I say it, then everybody gonna go there and, and tip on my spot. <laughs> now that shit gonna be another Miami and another Atlanta, and it's gonna be another Hollywood. This my low key spot in the states. You feel me? Yeah, off the grid shit. Yeah, mm. don't nobody go there. Yeah, mm. I love huh? I love that spot. Huh? Yeah, all yeah. retired rich motherfucker. Huh? Yeah. That ain't no tourist attraction. Ain't no young motherfuckers over there. <laughs> mm. Don't give up my spot. 
You know it, look. You probably know it, look. Uh, yeah, you just she's in you and text in the jewel. No. Yeah. <laughs> I got spots. Now I live in Dawson's Creek though. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. Do you uh uh Meek Mill's friend Dean? That's my man. Okay. That's my man. I call Dean right now, that's my man. Okay. Anybody you name, I call them right now and they'll pick up the FaceTime just like that. Mm. Anybody. You can fuck around, name anybody, and I will call them right now on this fucking show and have them and just show them. Like, like bro, it's bro. It's, it's a phone call. Anybody. Anybody. Yeah, because he, he fell out with me too, right? Wait, pardon me? He fell out with me too? Who? Dean. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. 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 He was trying to do his thing on um they, they gave him an offer for uh love and hip hop and shit like that uh he was dating karen silver that story out there for um not to touch on that too much but uh cuz told him don't do it like nigga, uh that's for bum ass rappers nigga, don't do no love and hip hop shit nigga, that, that's crumb shit that's you know what i mean we ain't on that and the only reason why they want you in the joint is because of me nigga. Mm. they don't want you on there because of you it's crazy Mm. That was the alley new for him to get on love and hip hop, and now you know he out he out he out of the city, he out the city. You're not in Philly no more. You on love and hip hop. Mm-hmm. You in New York or L.A. or whatever that wherever that's going to take you. But you on TV now, type shit. Mm. You feel me? He stopped that for him. Told him don't do it. That's for bum ass rappers. That's for nut ass niggas. Don't do that shit. And you know he listened to him from being you know being loyal. He didn't do it. He didn't make the move and. No, I do it He's doing his thing though. He's running, he's still running around doing his thing, but he just he ain't taking love and hip hop job. It was a part. It was a point in time where Meek Mill offered all the young rappers in Philly fifty thousand. Twenty. It was twenty or fifty. Twenty. It was. It was twenty. 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 Okay. To stop beefing. You be giving him too much love. You said fifty thousand. I got the numbers wrong with Core too. too. Come yeah, on, man, don't do that. That's too. Much. I got the number. The numbers yeah, wrong he, with Core too. He, he was giving out polo T-shirt money. Twenty thousand. Yeah, that's yeah. life changing money for a lot of for to be in Philly. Life changing. and not have and not have nothing. Life changing, a dub. You can move, that's enough to move out of Philly. When they gave out the PUAs, one of my smokers walked up to me with forty thousand. Facts. I know a crackhead that had a forty ball when Facts. they had. Facts. I know a weenie that had thirty you seven thousand forty bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. I know a fiend that had with a forty. Dub. Got clean, still doing it right now. Like you know what I'm saying, mm. turned that forty to a hundred. Like that player yeah. walking around with all his bread from getting the PUA Jones, hitting their card, getting the, getting the five hundred off, getting a thousand off, daily shit like that. Bank account crazy. They smoker deals. He was giving out smoker deals. It's crazy. <laughs> you felt like that was a disrespectful deal. To tell people to to squash beef for twenty thousand. How you Facts. gonna tell somebody to squash something and you're not on the land with the people? Mm. So it's not like I said the way I was just talking about not doing drugs, right? I put it in a way that it could reach the people. I didn't put it in a politically correct way. You're trying to talk to these people, right? And you're not on the land with them. Facts. That's why they came back with those disrespectful responses. You understand what I'm saying? The streets gonna talk, bro. Motherfuckers gonna let you know how they feel, bro. Lubriderm. Now with Pearl Ceramide, helps restore your skin's moisture barrier. Lubriderm. You ain't disrespect nobody like that, bro. No fucking twenty thousand dollars, bro. You can't move your fucking mom out the hood with no dub. Twenty thousand dollars, nigga. That shit gonna make you go wet somebody beat. You gonna mm-hmm. you gonna run in somebody's crib seven days after you fuck that up. Mm. You gonna be ready to lick somebody. No mm. diddy. You gonna be ready to lick something. Yeah, man. I, I I know I know rappers who done blew way more than that. Yeah. So imagine it's uh, um, half a million. Imagine Gone. the twenty ball. You you know rappers that blew a half a million. Imagine the twenty ball. Mm. Motherfucker, fuck that up. That shit gone in two weeks. Man, mm-hmm. that nigga would have had the whole city writing ethers on him. Hmm. Hmm. 20 ball. Come on, bro. 
Motherfucker with a border outfit, you can't even. <laughs> motherfucker with a pay this phone bill, border outfit. Went to motherfucker Wendy's, got a five for five. <laughs> Come on, man. Took a bitch to the hotel, you got eleven thousand dollars left. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Halfway done. You see how the it, it, the, the, the inflation? Come on, but look at the economy right now, bro. <laughs> dub, a dub Enough. right now in the economy. Mm. Come on, bro. What you gonna do with a dub right now in 2024, nigga? Mm. Go on Walmart right now. Look at the grocery prices. I'm keeping it clean on that tip. I'm taking it down to something as simple as that. Yeah. Look at the grocery prices in Walmart. Go go to the grocery stores. The economy is changing. All this shit, inflation, bro. Can't get nobody no dub, no fucking time like this. Mm-hmm. Even a time like that, shit was still tight. Then, around the time when the PUA came out, like I said, smokers running around with that money. Mm-hmm. I might as well sign to this dope fiend for 40,000 hours. And you could take that dub. <laughs> I'll sign to this dope fiend. <laughs> dope fiend records. <laughs> Fuck the chases. <laughs> Yeah. Um, OT the rapper. He uh shout out to him, man. Did we squashed our joint. Oh yeah. We did a party and everything. Yeah. What? I ain't know, bro. I'm on the money now, bro. Cause I, I I remember the last time I know about that was I think he was begging you to respond. Yeah, and I gave him what he wanted. <laughs> no kidding. That sounded crazy. Yeah, that's I said I gave him wild. what he wanted. <laughs> that sounded like a fucking Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> I say, uh, yo, I got to watch. <laughs> see, nowadays, you see how you got to watch what, what you say? Yeah. You can't say shit nowadays. Like, yo, I got, I got Mason Cam saying no diddy, bro. This it's shit crazy. That shit went viral, bro. Like, Damn, you, who, think, you who, think Diddy know about that? You think he, like, has an idea about the no diddy shit? I think Diddy is wearing about when the next time... You know, the, the jet going to land and where they going, you know what I mean? He, where he going to fly off and land at? Is, they going to, is he going to open lock a clear port? Is he going to go to Cuba airport? I think he's worrying about that. I don't think he's worrying about no. No, I'm not saying about worrying about it. Does he know about it? Yeah. Yes, he came across his desk. Nigga, I just told you I got the phone with Tony Yayo. Shout out to 50. I, then, do, you think I, do you think that I just be making this shit up because it sounds good? Nah. <laughs> no. Yeah, bro. I, bro. That shit came across his desk, bro. Damn. Damn, man. No diddy. That shit crazy, man. Pending, though. It's pending. So, do you got, you waiting to see, like, the status or whatever? Because that shit usually take a few weeks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody was on it, so we, we got it. It's 100% mm-hmm. that we got it. And, and I mean, it's proof it's, that, like, you were saying that shit, yeah, too, right? Yeah, way before that. Way before that. You know what I mean? Way before that. Yeah. But when I went on uh, Act Join, that's when it shot to the moon. Mm-hmm. And then you just see everybody start saying it. Like, I woke up <laughs> the next morning, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Mm. Like, yo, everybody saying this shit? Who else just said it? Who Puff Daddy, man? Who? Gene. Mm, Gene. Puff Daddy yeah. friend. Puff Daddy man that's telling about all the essays? Yep. He just said no day. So I'm like, damn, ah. it ain't cross Diddy Dust if Gene just said it on Vlad interview. Mm. Everything I'm saying, we can go look this shit up and all that. We ain't going to do it right now, but I'm just saying, we could, I got footage in the game, press, press replay, bro. Like, we ain't, yeah. you could look this shit up, bro. You never talk about your upbringing, like your dad. You, you, I used love to my mention, dad. used to mention your mom in a few records. I love my father, bro. But you never really talked about your... You talked about your mom more than your dad. Yeah, bro. I love my father. Like, what was your upbringing like? Great. I, I had my mother... And my father. Mm. <laughs> I ain't one of them niggas that, you know, fuck you, dad. <laughs> 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 Niggas get right with you. I'm like, I don't fuck with my pop. Fuck that nigga and yeah. all that. I love my father, man. Yeah. Real yeah. nigga. Yeah. Real right, man. But you used to put you used to tell stories about your mom and your music, right? Mm-hmm. You used to mm-hmm. you used to really like exp- like let the world like what tell like let's talk about that. Like Yeah. We also got uh it's crazy that you said that because my network on my podcast, you know I'm starting my own shit and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the Quilly show and all that. 
So live stream and cool show yet. and then a um Tanya Sun TV. Mm. You know? That's gonna be the we, we got Barbara Sun That's, TV. Now we got Tanya Sun TV. Shout out, shout out to Aunt yeah, Glizzy. Glizzy. That, yeah, that'd be hot. What you thought I wasn't gonna shout him out? Yeah, what that, you thought yeah. I was nah, gonna nah, get nah, 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 nah. Yeah, shout out Aunt Glizzy. Yeah, I now, now, Aunt. now look, since you wanna bring people up, you see like how you was naming dinosaurs? That yeah. niggas couldn't remember, like you just naming MC for lamb for lamb, MC <laughs> cheese steak. I, we don't know that nigga. Yeah. DJ my uh, own man of niggas, but look, you just mentioned a nigga that's rolling. You feel me? You mm. just mentioned like you feel me? Come on, bro. You gotta mention niggas that's speaking of that, where bro. where F chain at? Hold on. Before that, wait. Cause you we everywhere. What you just say? Before the b- before that, who was we just talking about? Aunt Glizzy. Aunt Glizzy, right? So look. Aunt Glizzy is a nigga that's popping, that's relevant. Right. And you fuck with it. Right. I like I like relevancy. So, all that irrelevant shit and all that yeah. that we got to go back and Google. Oh, I do remember <laughs> Main Man. Yeah, he did. If you got to do all that, then, you know what I mean? People want to know this shit, though. People want to know the Joey Jahad shit. People want to know a lot of that shit. They want to know that. And I told a lot of that. A lot going. of that was, okay, you know but I had that. Right? I got it. A lot of this shit was fan questions, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's not yeah. like I'm trying to kick up old dirt, but... You know, I don't, people. I don't, you know, I don't got no filter, no feelings. I don't give a fuck. All I'm saying is, let's talk about relevancy. Yeah. All the motherfuckers that's popping in 2024 right. of March 28th. Mm-hmm. You feel me? We right. on that time, like you know what I mean? Why, why BC duel? My man, super disrespectful, Mister Disrespectful. At the graveyard, digging up dirt. You co-sign that type of shit? <clears throat> All right, so now this is what's going to happen. I just talked to the radio, right? <clears throat> and I don't want to call him the original to tell this shit, but I just talked to the radio, right? Mm. And he's going to do a song with me, and he got he got a song for the girls. Mm. So when they hear him on the radio, it's not going to be none of that, what you just said, digging up the graves on the video and all that. It's gonna be songs. That's how I'm helping him transition to the radio. You know yeah, what I mean? Because that shit just as bad as Charleston sort of. saying that. That's the same uh, shit. Sort of. It's the same shit. That's the shit that Charleston be talking but about. But that's his wave, though. That's his wave. That's how he carrying it. And they jacking him. Mm. He globally known. And I just threw the oop to him for act. He about to go up on act. Mm. And if we can set it up, you know what I mean? Yeah. I bring him down here. Yeah. Well, next time I come down, you know the mm-hmm. day that we said and all that. Next yeah. time I come down, I'll bring YBC dude with me. You see how easy that is? Did that take away from me? Mm-hmm. For me to bring YBC dude down here for the next time I come down? Mm-hmm. That shit ain't take. Lighting somebody else's candle not going to hurt your candle. It ain't going to. I'm still lit. And guess what? It make me even more bigger. No diddy. Yeah. Now, 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 now I'm the motherfucking, I got the hat on at the board. Damn, no, yeah, no, because I heard of him through Cook. No, he put it. Yeah, no, I, I got the CEO hat on. I got a lot of different hats on. No cap. I be making a punchline as we go. Like, this mm-hmm. shit just be rolling as we go. Like, yeah. No bullshit, bro. I wear a lot of hats, bro. <laughs> and you know I'm Penn Griffey. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Everybody know who yeah. the songs I wrote for and all that. We ain't about to tip. From the motherfuckers that'll be up and coming to the motherfuckers that's uh, that's already in the industry that made it. Motherfuckers know who, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Shout out Sexy Red, too. We got a uh, couple submissions over there. Yeah. Yeah. I really can't talk. I, I can't get, I can't go into specifics, right? But. I ain't. Some killing me with the ads. Love what you find. Only a total wide and more. We got a couple you know, submissions over there. You submissions? I mean? What am I saying a word wrong? Yeah, yeah. Sub- oh, you submitted re- some records? Yeah. Submission is a word though, nigga. Don't make it seem it like is. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck is going on. Yeah, let me check you. Yeah, submission, yeah. Yeah, we have a couple submissions. We submitted a couple records over there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm making it seem like I'm hooked the fuck on phonics and all that. <laughs> yeah, I ain't cuz. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? Nigga? I know I speak, nigga. I ain't even doing phonics. I nah. speak very well. I'm very intellectual. I was remember I was with you a few times. That's what Aquil me. mean. Not to cut you off. We're yeah. gonna get right to that. Yeah. The name Aquil means in Arabic, smart, intellectual, and um, what's the last one? Knowledgeable, smart, and intellectual. Mm. That's what Aquil means. Okay. My name means that. Once again, go get the album. It's gonna be out on Apple or all mainstream platforms. How do you feel about the the Pooh Shiesty band in Philly? Um, that's going. To be, are they are they even like um? That's 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 either going let your duck on get let, let your taco be duck. We call it duck and tacos. Yeah. I made that up. The song is also on my YouTube. You can go stream duck and tacos. Ducking your taco is basically you. Oh, who that? You chilling? You, you know. You putting your shiesty on, or you putting your hoodie on. You at the, you might be at the airport. You don't want to be seen. You are gonna put your hoodie on. Some ladies, y'all might put the sunglasses on. You know, y'all ducking y'all taco, fellas. We might throw a shiesty on. We might throw a hoodie over that and a jacket over top of that hoodie. We ducking our taco. We want to be off the grid. So, either you going? You said with the shiesties in Philly. To get back to your question, either you going to duck your taco or your taco going to get dumped on. Are they enforcing that? Like, is that like a real thing? What you mean, as far as with the government and the law saying like the that you can't the, wear them? Yeah. yeah, you can't. You can't. Like, they saying you can't, but it's Philly. Niggas ain't listening to the law. Niggas break the law in mm. five minutes. The fuck they gonna listen to the news talking about a poo shiesty? You think Switch is, is, is fucking up the streets? Yeah, see, we, 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 we grown, so, you know, the kids play with switches, you know, yeah. we grown, we, you know what I mean, we old school, we walking you down, you know what I mean, five drinks and that on and all that, I say Chris Vang, you know, we ain't gonna go federal and all that, but, you know what I mean, we say binary, binary now, mm -hmm. the binary trigger is when you pull it, bang, it's gonna shoot once, and then the minute that you release the trigger, it's gonna sh re shoot again. It's a binary. That's for adults. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the switches are for kids. They're that shit's fucking up the streets. No, but I'm saying niggas is, throwing, niggas is throwing their life away with switches. The kids yeah, are. The kids are. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying the different levels of, you know what I mean? Yeah. We grown, bro. We, we playing mm -hmm. with all, you know what I mean? Grown shit and all that. Yeah. So, I mean, 2024 summer, it's approaching. Everybody's talking about you. You're everywhere right now. Mm hmm. Like I said earlier, you can't drop the ball. Mm -mm. You got, you, like you said earlier, you got nine lives. You want to know what's so crazy? I manifest everything, bro, and I speak everything because it, it's good energy. It's the good vibrations. I'm praying, you know. Like I said, I'm not a perfect Muslim. I'm not making all five. Sometimes I make all five. Sometimes I don't. But I'm praying, and, you know, a loss of Panawai Ta'ala, he's just blessing me. So I'm speaking positive into the universe, and, you know, the energy coming back, and the law is just blessing me. God is blessing me, you know, because I'm speaking positive. Like, you see what you just said? You said, well, you can't drop the ball. Shit like that don't even come out my mouth. Mm. I just got off the phone with Fatboy SSE. He said, yeah, you about to run up like two million real quick. Mm. Like, if a motherfucker ain't calling my phone talking to me like that, like, yeah, you about to run up two million real quick. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I got this movie for you too. I got that movie for you too, and another two B situation. Yeah. Shout out to Fat Boy SSE too. Shout but if a motherfucker SM, ain't calling me with those SM affirmations guy. and that good energy and those good merits, then I don't wanna. Ain't no. If you call me, yo, cool, you got it, man. Don't fuck up right now. Click. Don't don't say shit like that. Yeah. Yo, take this shit to the moon, bro. Real shit. Elon Musk just tweeted you. Salam alaikum. Mm. Talk to me like that. <laughs> Don't say that, bro. Yeah, this shit yeah, last yeah, chance, bro. Yeah. You fuck this up, like what? Yeah, nigga, I've been doing this shit a hundred years, nigga. I own the internet. Mm. This shit mine, bro. I'm the top carrier. You, you, you see those affirmations? Mm. And somebody, a few people, might say, "Who the fuck this nigga think he is? He cocky as shit." If you don't think yourself of that, you saying all this low vibration mm. shit. That's where the fuck you gonna be at. At a low level, I mean, you, but you the low. one that said you had nine lives and yeah, you didn't be shy at that, and it, this happened, and I I overcame that. And, and I also do what? I rebuttal and give the glory. Earn points toward your next trip and get closer to new True Blue perks with the JetBlue Plus card. To God, mm. my God. So I pop my shit. But I'm also humble. Yeah. You know? It's a time to pop your shit. It's a time to turn into J. Cole and Farrakhan. What do you got to say to, to all the... Philly right now is like number three. 
as far as like violence and shit. Like, it's a lot of drugs going on. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of everything going on in the world. What do you have to say for the kids that's watching right now? Like I said, man, I'm, I'm building my platform, bro. The Quilly Show and all that. Like I said, I, I hope my my platform that I could get these kids up here. It ain't no more gyms. It ain't no more pow. It ain't no more of that. It ain't no more, you know, recreational centers. So hopefully they can get up to my podcast and vent and I could be their therapist. Because yeah. it's, it's not all about rap. You know, talk. this is therapy. Mm -hmm. So if they get up on the Quilly Show, Tanya Sun TV, carrying it with Quilly, like hanging with Mr. Cooper, carrying it with Quilly, hmm. they could get up there and, you know, vent like they, they could vent their feelings to me. And I'm going to be the person that could feel them, no ditty, and I could tell them that some information that could help them. I could reach them. I'm there with them. I'm on the land with them. So I could reach them. They're going to listen to me before they listen to anyone else. Hmm. I just put Sean Cotton on the phone with F.S. Bender. That is about to be around the whole city. Just that right there. Not because the interview dropped. Mm -hmm. because he's yep. about to call 2,600 motherfuckers. Right. And tell them what I just did. And the interview is not even out. Mm. Pure heart, man. Meek, Meek should be doing shit like that. Not to bring cuz back up, but yeah, that fuck cake-ass nigga should be doing shit like that, too. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to my nigga Smackwater, man. Yeah. Uh, you better copyright that too, bro. Cake ass nigga. Cake ass nigga. Yeah, he'd be like, you cake ass niggas and you cake ass nigga this and all that. Yeah, I think he got merch too. He do got merch. That nigga funny as shit, man. So what rap I'm wrapped out too? Uh yeah, we doing that. We're gonna do twelve originals. Me and you gonna, you know, do the split sheets on it, you know what I mean? We're going to figure out what features we're going to get. You, you get your man BDB pack man and all that, right? Easy. He'll call it up. Right? So, now look. Look yeah. how I'm putting it together. You BF, see how I'm speaking yeah, positive affirmations? BF, listen. See, look at what's... Oh, so I was being negative though. whole interview? No, I'm not hey, saying man. that, but I'm just giving you an example that'd of how my nasty. life is going. Mm. Yeah, I think that'd be good. You understand? Yeah. You get BFB BF BF and Quilly? It's BFB. BFB pack man Right? I was drinking yeah, Casamigos, man. I'm going to be saucy on that. They drop it straight on. They lemon drops right yeah. there. Hit you like fucking Tyson in the 90s, you heard? BDB, BDF Pac-Man, right? BFB Pac-Man. What'd you say? Mm -hmm. BFB Pac-Man. Uh, Sauce Walker. Easy. That's my man. And that's my man. Mm -hmm. and, and look, I'm I'm down. I'm keeping it Midwest, Texas and all that. Not saying we can't just reach over to Cali and just reach over to New York and all that. But like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Bro. Imagine that I'm wrapped out too. Presented by C Cheese. Crazy. Quilly and Sean Cotton. You should have did I'm wrapped out five, ten years ago. And then and then look, to keep it clean, right? I got I got 35 original tracks in the cut that's untouched. That's original. Mm. All me on there, right? I could take 12 out of them. That'd be some corny lazy shit. Mm. I'm gonna make 12 brand new tracks. Mm. You understand? I could yeah. easily take, I have 35 tracks sitting. And I can say, well, huh, George, mm -hmm. that's ball. I got the 12 tracks right here. Mm. They already done. No, it's about relevancy. These 12 tracks, I'm gonna be talking about all the shit that's going on now. Right. You might hear uh, the situations we brought up between Million Dollar Roof Game and Jones and White and all. You might hear that on that album and all that. Like, it's about relevancy. Mm. Keeping up with what's going on right now. You used to always had you used to always had this one eye shit. Mm. One eye, yeah, 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 yep. Explain that. One eye, that's just some shit from the block. That's just something from Hang Street, you know. Yeah. Shout out Staff, man. Staff, yeah, yeah Staff, yeah. He he said, man, come on, man, you gotta show me some love because I dropped the song one eye, and I just threw the cover art up and all that, and I forgot to shout him out, and you know. That's just something that we was throwing up on a block, you mm. know what I mean? We from the floor, we were just throwing up shit like this and just, just some hood shit, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. People and then you had the county boy shit at one time too. Is that shit still a thing or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You asked me, uh, to go back to your question. Look, you see how I uh. Remember? Yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> no diddy. 
County boy Tone, he back and forth from Philly to Miami. Mm. He's still doing it, you know. When I was down Miami in the lamb mm-hmm. chop, that was Big Bro joint. You feel me? Right. He doing a rental car service and all that. Hot. You know, I that's keep hot. it clean. I ain't by the fraud. That wasn't my lamb chop. It had Pennsylvania plates, but that's because they bought it from Miami. I mean, yeah, that's on, hot. Yeah, he, he 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 always uh, County Boy Tone always seemed business savvy. That's my brother. That's my yeah. brother. Day one, Haines Street Sandbox. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Your hood is supposed to have good shit to say about you. You know? Like how you just bought up one of my day ones, man. You could, you could go to my hood and it's like, even to somebody that's probably like my worst enemy or don't really fuck with me, they still gonna tell you some good shit about me. Like, fuck that nigga. But no, man, that nigga did bring me out to the joint, man, when this shit was probably the club. Man. The worst, my worst enemy from my hood still loves me. Yeah. Like, my hood love me, bro. They rooting for me. They loving all this shit right now. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. As well as with the whole city. Because FS Bender's not from my hood. Yeah. He's just from Philadelphia. You ain't got to be from my hood. It's, it's my city. Showing love to the whole Philadelphia, bro. It's the biggie. Who, who's some artists in Philly you feel like everybody should look out for? Mm. We already really said it for you. Um, FS Bender. Uh, mm. Skrilla. Mm, Skrilla going, he going crazy. Bobby C. Dude. Going crazy. Yeah, but but we, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Tour. We already said Bobby C. Dude. Tour going crazy. Yeah. Tour got a show coming up right now with uh, Boss Man d about to be in the city. Okay. Hopefully we can get on that too. Reach out. Yeah. Reach out to his people too. So she can get some pay for him. Tour, he hired. Yeah, shout out Tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's what I was talking to. I thought you said Tour at first. You said Core. I said Tour and Tour. Tour. Okay, yeah. So Core, yeah. And Tour is about to have a show. Right. With Boss Man Dino coming to Philadelphia. Okay. So we're going to see if we can get some pay on that one. Just do some business. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see, I, you see, I'm just business savvy, bro. I'm all about business, bro. It might look like I might be reckless and, you know, who minds kamikaze jumping out the jet type shit, but bro, like I'm all business, bro. This yeah. shit business. You, you know been you I mean? you been saying you you been saying you heard a lot like yeah. Yeah. just jacking shit. You, just, know? <laughs> you got troll shit. I troll everything. I troll everything, bro. I troll everything. Yeah. Bloody. Like, I ain't no bloody. Yeah, what's the bloody shit? shit? It's just like, you know, it's it's like you saying that's your buddy, but it's your bloody, mm. you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. D thing out New York, he got his shit uh, muddy. He be like muddy. You know, right. you my heart and all that. That's his shit. Yeah. Shout out D thing, he just came home. Yeah. Shout out Gumbo and the whole Gumbo mm-hmm. organization and all that. Luca Braz and all that. Yeah. You know? I do want to say on camera, I'm really proud of you. Uh, it was a few summers ago. It was probably like, I was broke as hell, bro. This had to be like 2000, like 15. Was it? maybe between 15 or 17, I was in Philly, uptown with you, mm-hmm. and we was driving around, and I was hungry, right? But you wouldn't, you didn't want to eat until you got your shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why you have to say that with him? Go ahead. That's real, no. that's real. We, we, we talking about real. everything. It's real, no, 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 that's, that's, this, this Howard Stern But that's what real. I'm saying, like, I'm proud of you because, like, you really overcame a lot of you shit. You see how bad it is? <laughs> I didn't want to eat until I got my shot. Yeah. You see how bad that is? Yeah. Don't do drugs, kid. Yeah. That was bad. And then it was like. I didn't even want to eat. I didn't want to eat nothing. Like, hold on, you got to wait. Chill, shit. Hold up, bloody. <laughs> no, where you about to go, Quill? Hold it. Just give me a minute. I'm all in the back. We of drive project. all around. We drive yeah. all around the city. Like. You hear that? What rapper you know could drop all around the Every city? Every hood looking for that, for that shit. But what rapper you know could drop all around the city? He just said we drove all around the city. Yes, we did. What rapper can do that? Come on, bro. Yeah. Our feet was on the <laughs> land, bro. All you had to In say that on camera. <laughs> Projects, all types yeah. of shit. Uh, Downtown, I'm, city, I all do, that. I do want to say that I'm proud of you, man, because it was like documentaries made and... Um, I forgot the YouTube channel. He does a lot of Philly content, but people counted you out. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I'm just happy to see you bounce back, man, for sure. This is the grace of God. This is the cut of the law. It was meant to happen. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's manifestation. It's supposed to happen. Yeah. You know what, man? Is there anything you want to say before we get out of here? I ain't even gonna <laughs> lie. <I don't- laughs>
Hammer. Free radicals are everywhere. Protect yourself against them with palm. You want to get the fuck up out of here. I'm enjoying myself. I love this platform. What, what's, what's something that you want to like talk about though? Like, what's, what's something that you do want to address? Um, because there were there were viral, good viral moments and yeah. bad viral moments of, of for you. Sure, for sure. Like for in the sure. Burger King and stuff that I don't yeah. want to bring. But it, it's yeah. public. It's it's out there. See, see I'm a, I'm a, I was in the streets and I'm a street nigga. And my feet on the land. So you know, I could say that you know. I got backdoored, you know. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I I got shot at. I shot at motherfuckers. I've been mm. through shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like I have a story. Mm. You know, that's a story to tell. Right. I've been through shit. Like, what you mean you got backdoored? Somebody dropped the low? No, all types of shit. It's funny. Yeah. You know what's going on. I'm talking about the the viral, the Burger King shit. Like. Yeah, all types of shit. Backdoor situation. Mm. You know. So it's like all types of shit, bro. It's like I'm in the streets. You know, well, at that time, I was deep in the streets. So it's like, you know what I mean? I'm not in the streets now, I'm more music. And we touring the world getting money. We ain't mm -hmm. on that. But when I was knee deep in the streets, that's what come with that. That's what come with that, bro. Mm -hmm. And it teaches you a lesson. I mean, mm -hmm. experience is the best lesson. What you say when I pulled up? Damn, you got a dog on you. Yeah, I got a dog on me. I'm militant. Mm -hmm. We moving sturdy. Mm -hmm. The Army and the Navy. Mm -hmm. We, we can't just roll in. I mean, it ain't like that no more. You ever felt like niggas wanted to, like, harm you? Like, I don't like to say that word, but mm. I feel like the power of the tongue. But you ever felt like niggas really wanted to do something bad to you? Mm. To keep it clean with you? Uh, yeah, not for sure. Because really, it's Small, infinite, it really want, that you're going to do something. If really want to touch yeah. you, I'm going to touch you, know? you, bro. It's so like, you know what I'm saying? Keep it real, you know, so. Niggas cloud chase to try to get a viral moment. That's what's the situation and that's what's gonna happen. And that's what it is. Mm -hmm. If a nigga wanna get you out of here, they ain't gonna get you out of here. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Cause a lot of people can't come back from going viral. You know, as being a rapper, yeah. sometimes you gotta have a perfect image. Yeah. No no marks on your resume. But that's what make my story fail. Yeah. And that's what make me go viral. Because it's like, yo, I got this about me, I got this going on. It's not, it's not a perfect story. I don't all, it ain't all good, you know? And I talk about, I, like, I, I show vulnerability. I talk about my, my fuck ups. I talk about, damn, I was slipping on that joint. Damn, I was lagging. I should have tightened up on that joint. I, I speak about these things. Mm -hmm. Most people wouldn't speak about none of this shit, you know? You know what? That's real. You know what? Yeah. So I should be real like that, bro. And it's like, it show you how to move different, you mm. know? And we was out there just chilling. We got the doors up on the land and all that. And I just said, damn, if we was in Philly, it wouldn't have been like this, mm -hmm. you know? It wouldn't have been like this. It wouldn't have been that much love on that tip, like for us to just be chilling out there, looking all nice jewelry on and shit like that, money on us, nice cars and all that. Uh-uh. But we out here, so it's a different atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We wouldn't have, me and Sean Cotton wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to do that for five minutes, just standing on a random block. Mm -hmm. No bullshit. Somebody would have got the drop. You feel like you came yeah, up, you feel like you came up with the phrase carrying it? Yeah, that's mine. All that shit mine. You know I came up with that. You need a uh, watermark, you need a trademark that too. Yeah, yeah. And like you just said, watermark too. I have to start watermarking uh, yeah. all my videos all too. Videos, cause so when people copy, yeah, when niggas copy the videos, they had a watermark on each one. Yeah. Just like the say cheese that sits at the bottom of all yours. Oh, definitely. I'm learning the game. See, that's another reason why I wanted to, you know, yeah. drain you of some of your energy, you know, mm -hmm. get some of your brain. Right. No diddy. You feel me? Diddy. You putting me on. Right. No diddy. So, no diddy. So now, as I'm as I'm building my podcast and my streaming services and you know, all of my just you know me switching from not just doing music but having my merchandise, having my team you know run the pages and doing certain things when I'm in the studio, I got this. It's machines running, you know. We were sitting there talking, bro. The whole C G was running. I'm like, man, this shit crazy. Yeah. It's a, it's an operation. Yeah. It's a machine. <laughs> I'm glad you got the. Uh, I'm glad you got to witness that because people think that I post on the page. Yeah, and they be in your I, DM mad as shit. Yeah. Like, damn, dog, what the fuck, you nut know ass nigga had, and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know you get death threats. I get death threats yeah. and all that. Damn, you ain't shout my shit when, out. Um, like, guess what, bro? We when, don't see anything. When the Kwani 
And B shit happened. Mm-hmm. When B shit. When he said he was a cute kid. Yeah. He is a cute little and, kid. And, no dick. And somebody on my team posted that because it was viral on Twitter. And V's got V's called me and we had gotten a crazy like argument on the phone. I mean, Kwani called me and we got in a crazy argument on the phone. And I'm like, I didn't post that. Like Kwani went <laughs> Why he talking to you crazy? He can't talk to you crazy. You got a lamb chop with the doors up. He don't got no car. Yeah, I, I, he can't I, talk to you. No, 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 fuck really? that. We went there with Kwan's situation. Let's go there with you. Kwani talking to you with all his bass in his voice. He 110, soaking wet. Yeah. We ain't on that. We sitting out there with the doors open and all that. He ain't got no fucking car. He ain't got a Nissan. Oh, cool. He ain't got them power. Man. Come on, bro. He going to talk to you and argue with you. Right? For nigga, you giving him a platform that he need to be on. Hmm. Matter of <laughs> fact, you ain't, going, you ain't coming up here, turkey. Turkey banger. Damn, nigga. Ah, and I had my Texas know. nigga slide on you. No diddy. <laughs> Fuck this nigga talking about. I'm connected, nigga. Will you and me ever do a record again? I'm not even worrying about. Why would I want to do a record with <laughs> Yo, yo, shut up, bro. I'm doing more numbers than that independently by myself, single handedly. You hotter than me right with now? With a with a blindfold on and a hand and a and a one hand behind my back. <laughs> he did forty four hundred. You hotter than me right now? Is little baby hot right now? Not to me. I just answered your question. Huh? Mm. You think little baby fell off? Is little baby hot right now? Not to me. Ice box, igloo, Eskimo, <laughs> Elsa. What? Anna. You feel like no, you feel like you're in the stu- frozen too. Elsa and Anna. <laughs> You think you feel like some little baby? You feel like if you were in the studio with little baby, you you could you would help him make some some better records. I just told you I, I'm Pen Griffey. Do you think, uh, bro? You think I just said that for nothing? I'm Pen Griffey. <laughs> little baby better reach out to me so you get back on fire. <laughs> what is you talking about? What about I had that nigga on fire? What about the baby? See now he he's a part of the cancel culture, so that's something I don't want to play with. Mm. You know, I don't want to play with nothing with that cancel culture. Mm. I don't. You gotta know the internet now. You can't stand next to nothing that's been canceled before, and you've been playing with, you know, the, the, that community and all that. I ain't standing next to you. I'm cool. Mm. I support huh? that community. <laughs> mm. Huh? No diddy. How do you? But. Because they say that stop laughing. Every it's time, real. every time, little baby makes a. At least it's a snippet of a record. That shit sound like, uh, uh, what's the joint he had with Forty Two Doug? What's the joint? What's the joint that's pop with Forty Two Doug? Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. We paid. Oh hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just said you don't remember. Ain't that fucked up till he said something. When you got to go deep in the crates and remember in your mind and dig through the vinyls of a motherfucker and dust off fucking cockwebs and spiderwebs and all that, they don't need to be mentioned. I'm telling you. Yo, all the shit you talking about, you better come with some heat. This summer, you better come with some heat. <laughs> I, you know, you, know, you, you putting too much pressure on yourself. Yeah, That's what, yeah. You know, it's, cool. I, you I like the fire up. under my ass. No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> Dickheads. Dickheads, man. Diddy gonna see that and want to sign you. <laughs> they had his sons on. They had they put his daughter on the ground. They, this ain't funny. They had his son. They took they took the young and out. Put both of them in cuffs. Diddy on a jet. I'm like, yo, this shit really crazy. They really they ran through the crib. The you saw the the pool <laughs> where Meek was sitting in when he said his daddy and uh, the other house they ran in that got the computers out and then when they ran inside the other house the back house like Uncle Phil that's when they found the underground bunker. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, oh, no. 
A Philly rapper told me, and I'm not going to say who told me this. A Philly rapper told me that in around 02, 03, they were all chilling together. It was Diddy, a lot of Rockefeller, a lot of state property. Um, and Diddy jokingly asked the rapper that he just signed, would you suck a D for a million dollars? He asked a rapper? He asked a rapper that, that he, that he, mm -hmm. that he, I think he just signed or they were about to get signed or they were around. Mm. Yeah, a rapper, mm. a rapper told me that. Mm. That shit crazy, bro. Well, you like, it's a lot of different stories out there. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. just, you know, yeah. just word of mouth. I got to link up with uh, Green. What's the boy name, Green? That's his man name? What's his man name? That's Gene. Gene. I be fucking, hey, look, I'm fucking niggas name. Yeah, this shit crazy, Gene. <laughs> I got to link up with him, man. My inside man to get me to him. We're going to figure something out. Yeah. I got a lot of inside. Man. We're going to figure something out. Let me do this, man. Mm. I'm connected, though. For sure, for sure. Like I said, too, man, I'm going to keep shouting this out, man. Shout out 50 Cent, man. And shout out Tony Yayo, man. You might just hear me, like, on BMF. Like, when BMF going on, you might just hear me, like, on like on Raising Canaan when it's going on. Because you know when it's on... When it when the show come on, it's always Fifty Cent song, mm -hmm. but he always give different artists a platform as the show is going off. Don't be surprised if you hear me on like BMF for Power. Yeah. Like, and Fifty know. mentioned you like ten years ago. Yeah. Little yeah. people yeah. know. Yeah, real right, man. And I really performed with him and all that. Like, mm. you know what I mean? He just put no Diddy up. He tapped mm. in. Yeah. He know what's going on. That's why I, I reposted on my page. Mm. Bro, it's a lot of things going on. I ain't going to let, you know, everybody know all my business and all that, but, you know. Yeah, they said they said uh, Young Miami mm -hmm. was uh, yeah, 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 that the pink seat. cocaine. The pink sauce. Because down the there, that? you could put the food dye in it. See, now, <clears> look, you got to have a hand. You got to know what you're doing. That's why I salute Young Miami. She was in the kitchen with it. You got to be breaking that shit down the right way. She had the mask on and all that. She really know what she doing. And then she was, you know, bringing it up, trafficking. You know what I mean? Mm. Have it on the joint. That's pink. You hitting it with food dye, food coloring. Food coloring? Yeah, just to change the color on the joint. It's just a gimmick to have everybody to make it pop. When I was doing my thing with the girls on and all that, we had the blue and green and all that. Pootie, what's up? I ain't on that. I ain't, <laughs> ain't say too much. You on the joint. It's bloody though. We yeah. You did cocaine before? The fuck no. Do it look like a white them niggas that cocaine play Cocaine isn't, oh, cocaine isn't, that's a party drug, no, though. That's an expensive. Bro, that's, no. Doctors no. do that. <laughs> lawyers do it. Am I a doctor or a fucking lawyer? <laughs> fuck is you talking about, nigga? Yeah, Yo, this yeah. nigga, dude, I was on all types no, of shit. No, cocaine is like shit that niggas do at that's party. That's diddy party. That's no, diddy look, 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 look. That ain't how sure we party, bro. You see, I just you hit do the gas. All we did was hit the weed. As soon as I hit the weed, I walked in. I did stumble a little bit. Sean, like, see, sure I didn't want you to smoke. You Hell okay? no. I ain't do X. I ain't do a bomb. No, I'm saying. I ain't on dope. Yeah, this ain't fucking like a lot of a lot of corporate a lot of corporate people like dentists and doctors and like especially because dentists. it's a rich man's house. No, but listen, it's a luxury of the no, rich no, no. man's house. No, no, like dentists, like. They want to be con like when you do cocaine. They say that it makes you super concentrated. Like you and, and it's, yeah, you could get an Addy for that, an Adderall. Mm -hmm. But the strippers do coke though. Mm -hmm. Strippers to keep them up at night throughout the night. Mm -hmm. It's not just doctors and lawyers and all that. <laughs> but yeah, we ain't on no soft. But for her to turn that that coke pink, you gotta have a hand. You gotta be fucking Jeezy folks and all that to be in there. <laughs> you turning that shit pink, bitch. I salute you. And she held it down in ain't town. That's a thorough bitch. What? You heard her. Yeah, she I still ain't rap. Daddy. Cassie got the bag after daddy. forty-eight hours. He gave her thirty hours. Come on, come on, come that on. That was forty-eight come on, hours. On. She said that shit so Monday. Did he do this and did that? Wednesday she had thirty hours. All right. Mm. How you feel about Stevie J going at fifty? Y'all just put Man, that on yeah, St. Yeah. Stevie J just went he's, at fifty. He's in the paperwork. They say Diddy. Oh well, he he got the pay. He got the. They he said, got the they, paperwork. They say they said Diddy promised him if he was in a t on a tape or did something with him that he would make him uh, win producer of the year at the Grammys. So that's why. That's why he him. called him gang them. Go back and look at the video. He called Diddy gang them. Mm. So that's why he said he won fight fifty. 50. Yeah, I think fifty. Who, who you got for winning? I think fifty been uh, boxing since the eighties. Yeah. I got, I got, I got 50 in my, 
I definitely got fifty. I got fifty. <coughs> Out of that, if Ak and Meek would have fooled who you had winning, keep it clean. Don't just <laughs> what? Keep it clean. Out of Ak and Meek, who you thought would have won? I'm, I'm gonna go. Damn. Who, nigga, who you got? I told Ak I got him for fucking him up. I I, I told Ak. Like, you think I got, I got you for me? fucking him up? Yeah. <laughs> you saw the punches he was throwing in the jaw? Shit, like a nine year old little girl. <laughs> huh? <laughs> like, it I think, like he got two left hands. <laughs> I think. Shit. I think. How much Meek weigh? I got it. now. He see he came down because of the shot, so he had like one forty right now. He had like one forty right now, like with Tim's on, like type shit. Hmm. He lost a lot of weight. He's super skinny right now. That's 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 the back in the day Quilly joint when I was at six and seven. Mm. Remember that? Mm. Remember how skinny I was? Yeah. Face all sunk in and all that. Not seeing no definition. The glow all on my face stripped off. Mm. Now look at my shit. My shit spinning, glowing. Mm. Feel me? <laughs> Handsome, man. Quilly. Quilly, man. I appreciate you sliding, man. For sure, man. We're going to carry it. We got to do a better wrap up than that. We can't just wrap it up like that. If that, if that was the wrap up. <laughs> oh! You wrap it up. Oh, man, you already know what it is, man. It's the biggest bloody, man. Right here with Sean Cotton, man. Say cheese. Classic get, interview. Get, get, ready for the, get ready for the album, man. I'm wrapped out, too. He say this every interview. I'm wrapped out, too. Presented by Say Cheese, man. We Sean gonna, we, Cotton. We gonna see. What is it? What's your label? 99? 99 OVR, overall. 99 overall. Like 2K. 99 overall. The highest rating. Listen, 99 overall. That chain crazy, too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That joint hmm. retarded. Say cheese, you on Goofy too, bro. Yeah. I fucking wanna <laughs> grab one of them off of the cells from the joint. You feel me? Shit like that. You see how I'm speaking in it? Come on, man. Appreciate you, bro. Overall, great interview. Funny. You ever know said, like, my man Quilly, he don't never disappoint, man. Like, you feel me? Like, I like the way Sean. Uh, 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 kept it real with him and drilled him and, and, and like uh, <clears throat> held him accountable for his F-ups and mess-ups and stuff like that on not being consistent and stuff like that, man. I really hope rap, Wrapped Out to come out, you know what I'm saying? Quilly, you better stick to your word on this, Jake. Uh, I just I just like the interview all the way around, man. Like, I really do, bro. You know, they, they did this little trolling in there, you know what I'm saying? But Sean didn't. I like I like Sean interviews because he don't make it all about trolling and stuff like that. Like he lets you get personal with the with the person that he with. Like he, you know, he asks some questions about themselves, the way they came up, and you know stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying like regular etiquette when uh uh when doing a proper interview. Like he do he did really great. You know what I'm saying so. Okay, man. Like shout out to Sean Kai and whole say cheese uh universe um. Shout out Quilly, you know what I'm saying? Let's ball, no ditty, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. I just want to see my boy glow up, man, and and, 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 and and do his thing, man. Like, glow up, show up, and get his dough up, man. Like, that's all. You feel me? Let's ball. And like that, we gone. <laughs>